have. Oh, we do have quality options. Okay, cool. Okay, I just gotta edit ramen bomber underscore at twitch.tv slash ramen bomber underscore and Chrissy, no, not Chrissy, Pauline, Andrew, redrawn games. Uh, uh, hi, Zam, how are you? How's it going? Welcome to stream. I hope you're doing good. Hi, hi, Zam. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi, yeah. How, how are you, Zam? Is your, is your day good, Zam? Did you, did you have a good day? Is your day good? Is, did you have a good day? Good day? Good day? Dumpy! I, I had to get rid of my dumpy emote on Twitch, Sam. I have to upload it to BTTV. I got buffed. <laughs> Uh, so sad. I swear to God, Josh. <laughs> Hi, Yaka. How are you? Welcome. How's it going? Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing good. Hi, Como. Hi, Animated Gamer. <gasps> Woman! Right? Thanks, Twitch. My God. Zam. Hi, Tyler Master. How's it going? Yeah, rip Jimmy Dumpy. Uh, there are new animated emotes. The J cursed wiggle. What is this, Josh? I swear to God, Josh. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh my goodness. Nervous because I asked a guy out waiting for a response. Oh, nice, Yaka. Congrats. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. How are you? I'm nervous. Oh my gosh, Yaka. That's so exciting. Wish you luck, Yaka. Holy crap. Hi, mom. How are you? How was your day? Mom, I might be coming over tomorrow to help dad with his phone. So, uh, yeah. I swear to God, Josh. <laughs> My mom does not play balloons, Josh. Mom, do you play balloons? Can you confirm? Thank you for so much for the sub ramen. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, ramen is gonna be a guest today. Ramen is gonna be a guest today. <laughs> <laughs> on uh on stream i'm very excited hold on i gotta set up i gotta set up reactive so give me a sec here um i don't think i have a reactive set up for andrew so here you guys can look at here i'll put an image for you to look at uh here yeah look at look at this while i set up reactives okay uh, ramen. Where's ramens? Okay, here's ramens. It's not this big anymore. Hold on. Matt, on ramen being a guest? Watch this. What? 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 What, Josh? What? Uh... Guilty. <laughs> you don't open the game! Oh, called out! Called out, Josh! Called out! Called out! Good night, Mom! Sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. Uh, hold on. Discord overlay OBS. OBS. Um, hi Kyle, how are you? Like, the second time he's done this. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, extended game night here. Copy. I had to make a thing. Properties. Uh,. Link here for ramens, and then I gotta make a reactive. I've never had Andrew on the stream, otherwise I would have a reactive for him. Uh, reactive Andrew. So this will be a first. What I miss? Nothing yet. I am just uh setting up reactives for for the peeps for the peeps. Um, okay, and then. Properties, control A, control C, 
Uh, reactive Andrew, control A, control V, but I gotta get Andrew's ID. Who's Andrew? Uh, Andrew is Redrawn Games. Uh, Redrawn Games will be joining us on stream today alongside Ram and Bammer. Exciting. Thank you for doing the collab, Seven. Thank you, yes. I actually canceled stream one time for it. Oh, no, Robin! <laughs> Hi, boss. How are you? Welcome. Not been doing the best today. I saw Jojo Siwa concert yesterday, and it was super fun, but I got a massive sugar hangover. Oh, no. And I made a gamer. At least you had fun. I'm glad you had fun, though. Like, that's that's honestly worth it. Uh, copy ID. I got to copy Andrew's ID. Um, Because it's not supposed to be Ramen's. Control V. And then I got to find Andrew's care PNG. I got to find it. Uh, oh, yes, CC. Thank you, Seven. I completely forgot about CC. Thank you. Um, let me do that now so I don't forget. Uh, CC Twitch stream closed captioner. Oh, gosh. Twitch stream closed captioner. Turn on. Click to start captions. Thank you, stream closed captioner. Oh, Seven got there before the bot did. Look at that. Um... Okay, just finished my best friend. Oh, nice, boss! You got it in right before the deadline. Very nice. Yes, today, friends, is your last night to um, get in your best friend applications on the Discord. Um, copy link. Um, be sure to, to submit it tonight because it will not be open tomorrow. So it gives um, Seven a chance to read all of them without having to read them all last minute. So if you guys don't, if you guys want to do that, uh, please feel free. You just sent in your application. Very nice, Yaka. You did it in time. Yay. I'm glad to hear that. Yay, yay, yay. Makes me happy. Uh, and then make this 1920 by 1080. Okay. Okay. I think my reactives are all set up. Oh, I think, wait, hold on. Let me make sure ramen's is set up. I want to make ramen's the anime one. Ramen, ramen. Okay. Properties. Where is Whammons? Uh, should I do ramen with the chef's hat? Okay, wait, hold on. Where is it? Whammon, whammon. There it is. Okay, copy link and make it this one. Control V. Control V. And then, okay. Need a new comm? Yeah, ramen! Uh, me and Kea got new comms. I guess Chrissy, too. Kea, uh, Kea also got a new comm and all that good stuff, so you should get one, too. Yeah, do it. Okay, let me switch to this screen. Hello, friends. Hello, welcome. Um, also went to the dentist today, got no cavities. Very nice animated gamer, very nice. No cavities is also a fun time. Like, getting cat I've never gotten a cavity in my life, so I don't know what it's like to have cavities, but I've heard it's not very fun. Heard not fun at all. Uh, I forgot about my application. I'm at my sister's rip. Oh, that's okay, Warlock. You can, um, you can send in a text one if you didn't plan on doing a video. You took a bath at 3 a.m.? You know what, Anime Gamer? Baths at night are, like, top tier. Maybe I'll take a bath after stream today. Me and my friend screamed at her playing Lulavania. <laughs> uh, cavity filled Wednesday. Oh no, how is that, Como? Oh, that does not sound like fun. You have first-hand experience now of the of the the wretchedness that is what's it called? Cavities. Hmm. So how's everyone's Friday? Did y'all make it through the week okay? I had a pretty good week. I had a pretty decent week, if I do say so myself. Um I got some good news this morning about uh, travel stuff. And then, yeah, I had a pretty good day so far. It wasn't too bad of a day. The concert was very much oriented for kids. It was only an hour and a half. Oh, the concert was only an hour and a half? Hopefully it wasn't expensive. It was okay, not too bad, but I've been getting a lot of cavities lately. Oh no, Como, I see. Oof, oof. Been so lazy, I should probably use this uh, next payout for a new comm. Oh, ramen mood. I, there's so many things I want to buy with this new comm. Like, I want to get, so you guys know how I set up my, my HD camera, my HD one. Um, I want to use it more, but it's not like in an optimal spot. It's on a tripod. 
um, not in the greatest spot. So I, I want to get like a desk tripod that like clamps to the desk. And so that way I can move the camera around while I stream. And so like I've been waiting for this Twitch payout to come out. Um, one, to save. So I'm going to use the Twitch affiliate payout this month to help pay for Jack's surgery that happened last month. And also pay for a new... Uh, camera mount thing so I can use it for uh, the HD camera more often. Also had a good Friday, went swimming with my students. Oh nice Como, my one student I worked with one-on-one -on -one was nervous all day but he had so much fun. Oh I'm glad to hear that Como. That's true Warlock, you are my Animal Crossing best friend. You are correct in that. Seats right next to the stage were like 400 USD but my seats were like okay 40? 40 is not bad at all. For an hour and a half concert, not bad at all. Still not as long though. Like an hour and a half, like I like I am used to concerts being like two hours, three hours long. So like hearing an hour and a half concert to me is like, oh, is that worth it? I don't know. I think what I'll do today is I'm going to take a nice long hot bath after stream. I think that'll be the plan. You've never been to a concert, Yaka? Oh, you gotta go, Yaka. You gotta go to at least like a local, like not like a bar, but like a good, like decent concert, you know? <coughs> Tons of five-year-olds for a Thursday night. Oh my gosh, busy. Good for Jojo Siwa though. She getting that bag, mm-hmm. Uh, the place is packed. Oh, I already read that. I wear earplugs at the concert. You know what, Como? That's a really good idea. Because, like, with your vision, you can always kind of correct your vision, you know? But with your hearing, once your hearing is gone, you can't get your hearing back. It's very difficult and expensive to get your hearing back. So wearing earplugs at a concert is, like, top tier. Have you ever taken an ice bath? I haven't, Andrew. I, I don't know if I would like it. Like, I like hot baths. Like, I, I'm a big fan of of hot baths. The cup is cute. Oh, thank you, Kyle. It's Pink Bean. It's Pink Bean from from Maple Store. Also, hi, Andrew. Guys, uh, that is Andrew, Redrawn Games, who will be joining us on stream in like a couple minutes here. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to have Andrew on. Also, Jojo made a joke about how this, uh, how even our with Mass is she could not see us singing. Aww. She probably loves seeing people sing. Hey, Miz, how are you? Welcome. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. How are you, Miz? You've been working out hard? I hope you have been. Get those gains in, get those gains. So yeah. I still hear the music with the earplugs, but it's less overwhelming. You know what, Como? That's fair. One time I went to a concert with my mom, I forgot earplugs, so she got me tissues for my ear. That's a good thing. Like, honestly, like, like you want to keep your hearing as as good as you can. And make sure you, like, clean out your ears with, like, uh, with a doctor, too. Um, I have to get that done. But it always, like, f freaks me out. Like, you know, like, those videos of people, like, getting, like, a shit ton of ear dried earwax out of the ear? Like, I'm so worried that that's me. I, I don't know if I would like that. It's just ugh, gross. Lukewarm baths usually because cold is cold and hot makes me sweat. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, I usually like uh, I like having a hot bath. Like an ice bath is like, like I feel like an ice bath is only applicable to like athletes because that's the only time I hear people having an ice bath. Hey Ash, how are you? Yes, stay hydrated, just stretch often. Thank you, Ash. Thank you for the reminder. Lukewarm, good, gotcha, gotcha. So, anime gamer and Yaka both like you lukewarm baths. Yeah, I'm like, I like hot. Like, I get, um, I get like, uh, you guys know, like, uh, like the kettles, like the, I get a kettle and I boil it and then I pour it in my bath. Like, I love a hot bath. Ice baths are great after working out. Yeah, see, that's why I imagine. Like, ice bath seems good, like, only applicable in, like, sports settings. Like, I can't imagine myself wanting a cold bath anytime soon. You you think so, Yaka? Uh, maybe I, I'll give a, a cold bath a try again. I don't know. Like, it's just, like, I, I live in Canada. So, like, I'm just, I'm used to the cold. I don't know if I would, like, cold in a, in a bath setting. My mom is deaf in one ear because of something genetic and may happen to be- Oh, I see, Como. Yes, it's good to be careful. I'm gonna say you drink tea while taking a bath. <laughs> good, Monday's gonna be great. Not because I have a girlfriend, but my cargo, cargo vinyl comes in. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Miz. Having a Valentine, I see. 
Hi, Lee. Yes, hot baths only. Lee, we are in the same boat. Ooh, I got some nice candles off of Amazon for the weekend. I'm so excited. They're heart-shaped candles. Um, and like, yeah, I'm very excited about that. I love candles. So I'm super hyped up to have some, some cute little candles. Bath bombs? Oh, I love bath bombs. Don't get me started. There is a web, there's a, a place in Canada called Lush. I think it started in Vancouver. Um, and it's like called like Lush Bath and Body or something like that. And they have like the cutest bath bombs. Obsessed. Oh my God, I love subs, obsessed. Oh, Lush is in the US too? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Lush subscribe, right? Oh my gosh, hold on. We're gonna bring up the Lush website right now. Lush, lush.ca. Okay, so Lush is in this, okay, okay. Seven also loves Lush. I don't think I've taken a bath in upwards of three years. You know what, Miz? Sometimes, some people don't got time for baths. There's just no way I can take a bath and not feel like a child. That's totally fair. They are exp- That's a thing, Animated Gamer. You are right. Like, bath bombs are expensive as heck. They are so expensive. Um, so let's go look at bath bombs. Right? The Lush store always smells amazing. There's one that's an eggplant. Interesting. Uh, love bug. Oh, cute. It's a little car. Oh, this is okay. I love this one. The sex bomb. This is one of my favorite, favorite bath bombs. Oh, really, Andrew? You you think they make you feel slimy? Interesting. Huh, I wonder why. Maybe it's the type of bath bombs that you use, Andrew? Because, like, I, I haven't had that experience, but I'm not sure. Hi, Mountain Dew. How are you? Welcome, welcome. How was your day? What are bath bombs? Ooh, Yakka. So bath bombs are... Um, it's like, like concentrated soap that when you put in the water, they, they explode in the water and they make the water really bubbly like this. Yes, sex bomb. It's so good. Yes. She said the adult word. <laughs> it's so good, Zam. Like these are, so this is the sex bomb. So you just put it in the water. It makes the water look all pink and stuff. Very pretty. I'll eat it. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. Don't eat the bath bomb. Do not do it. It's so pretty. Look how pretty it is. Yeah, Yaka. If you can search up like bath bomb, you'll find a whole bunch. This is just like the one, this is the one store that I know of, but there's lots of like people that like make them and sell them on Etsy and stuff like that. Someone at Lush is really horny. True, like there's there's an eggplant one. There's one called Sex Bomb. I'm pretty sure there's a peach one because I've used the peach one before. Oh, look at the magical cow one. Oh, this is so cute. I don't care. No, I don't know. <laughs> some of the descriptions on the back are the Prater says too. Yeah, like some someone at Lush is just really horny all the time. $20 soap, who you think I am, Bill Gates? <laughs> fair, miss, fair. They are expensive. Definitely you can't take a bath every day. Would love to buy bath bombs but I take showers. You know what, that's fair. So I think they have like shower, um, like, uh, hold on. They have like this thing that like, shower bombs, yes. So you put these at the bottom of your shower and like they'll make your shower smell nice. So these are nice. Fluffy lav lavender. Oh, she's like naked. Uh, is is like a shower bomb. So nice. The shower jelly is really nice. I've I there was a shower jelly that I had like a couple. Um, is it shower gels? I had a couple years ago. It was like a. It was like this, but blue. Yeah, this one. Whoosh, whoosh. It's just straight up jelly. It's soap. But it's jelly. It's so cool. I love it. Do a lush bath bomb once a month. Ooh, do it, anime gamer. It's so worth like, like just like putting stuff in. Like it's just nice to feel nice, you know. Like sometimes you just gotta treat yourself once in a like once a week, once a month, and just like treat yourself to a nice thing, you know. Like buying one thing a month. Yeah, the GIF is great, isn't it? 
<gasps> Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh, I used to be so obsessed with Bath and Body Works, and then I realized like how expensive it was. Like I was getting. Like I was like used to get it like all the time I went to the mall, and then I was like, oh, I should like stop buying so much Bath and Body Works. Jelly show up in the shape of a butt, so you could slap it. Yeah, slippy, slippy, slappy. Have the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer collection. I love the the ba the Bath and Body Works has some like good smelling hand sanitizer, but some of them don't smell that good too. They are riding the fine line of getting a bunch of lawsuits for kids eating the bath bombs. You're right, Andrew. You're right. It only takes a little bit. I want to see what other... Okay, no, I don't want you to know my location. Stop asking me every single time I come into this website. Twilight? The, the strawberry heart is interesting. It looks like edible. Like, it makes me want to eat it. <laughs> uh, can't have Tide Pods and now Bath Bombs. True, Austin, true. Like, what the heck? Oh my god, pain. Anyway, uh, let's go back to the Bath Bombs. Let's see what else they got. Let's see. Lakes Black Rose. Oh, here, here's the peach one. See, there's a peach one and there's an eggplant one. Hold on, I want to see what the, the eggplant says. At nine inches long, Big Eggplant is for anyone who loves to go big with an energizing scent that'll keep them happy for hours. Ooh. <gasps> it disintegrates so pretty. It disintegrates so... Look at that picture. I spent anywhere from $50 to $100 on Bath & Body Works. Oh my god! And that's with promo codes and coupons! Oh my gosh, but like Bath & Body Works is so good though. Ball check! Everybody check your balls and your eggplants. Make sure they're all there. Make sure your eggplant bath bombs are all there, you know? They really said all- Yeah, they did, Lee. They they really did put that on their, their website. They really did that. Is that a big eggplant in your bag? Because if it is, you're about to make someone or yourself very, very happy. Here, just for Valentine's Day, this super-sized spizzer is ready to please, packed with ho wood oil, Tonka Absolute, and Litsi Kubeka oil. It offers a refreshing yet grounding aroma along with a blanket of warm and cool purples, blues and pinks for a marble effect across the water. For external use only, please. Yeah. This is, I feel like this is key. This is key for external use only. <laughs> A 12 year old looks at, works at lunch. <laughs> oh my gosh, Josh, I can't wait to see your application. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. I want to see everyone's application. Feel like the bath bombs would give bad UTIs or yeast infections. <laughs> as long as you're not like in the tub for a really long time. Like don't be in the tub for like two hours. Like for me, I like being in the tub for 45 minutes to an hour. People are getting some dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah. Oh, it's a citrusy scent. <gasps> Maybe I'll pick this up tomorrow. Maybe I'll go to the mall and get this. Ooh, bath bomb. What else do they got? Let's see. What else they got? Tissy toasty. This one smells really nice. I like this one. Uh, and I like the the butter. It was butter ball, I think. Sakura. This one I've heard good things of, but it has such low reviews on the website. But it looks so pretty. You're supposed to rinse off after using them to avoid the UTIs. That's true. You are supposed to rinse off afterwards. Should not have given y'all supplies to make these. <laughs> Buy an eggplant bath bomb. You're no longer a PG-13 streamer. It's true. I would not be PG-13 anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, that is the lovely, lovely world of bath bombs. The lovely, lovely world. Uh, look at that. It makes me think of Baskin Robbins ice cream. Austin, see, this is why you gotta be careful. So, Cause like if Austin thinks that, like a kid could easily think that and like want to eat it. <laughs> uh, oh, Como, poor kitty. Como just wants to give kitty love. J 
Jay would not be taking the eggplant and bath on stream. It's okay. That's true. I would not be taking a bath on stream. That's a that's a first way ticket to getting banned. Have you heard about Build a Bear After Dark? What? Build a Bear? I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Build a Bear After Dark? What? It's true, Zam. I'm about to eat all of these. Look at this one. This is so pretty. <gasps> So pretty. I love bath bombs. Hi, Kim. How are you? Eggplant butt tub stream. Oh my god, Kev. No. No, guys. No. Eggplant hot tub stream sounds like such a... Like, that is like a one-way first-class ticket to, like, getting, like, crucified on Twitter. Like, I would freaking die on Twitter. On the Twitter.com. Giant shower jelly. Oh god. Hold on. I gotta show you guys this video. Oh wait, hold, I, let me review this video to make sure it's nothing like sus. Look at the shower jelly. Why is it so big? Look at this. It's so big. Hi, Kevy. Have a good lurk. Have a good lurk, Kevy. Good, Kim. Good. We're just talking about bath bombs and bath jellies. Look at that. It's so big, right? Why are they so big? Oh, that's whoosh. That is whoosh for sure. See, now this just makes me want to eat it. Like, seeing, like, jelly, like, slide across the floor like that. I want to eat it. I just want to eat it now. <laughs> Reminds me of my belly. <laughs> same, same. Reminds me of my belly after I, I finish eating for the day. Just jiggle, jiggly. Right, Kim? It looks so tasty. So satisfying, right? A volunteer for the shower jelly taste test. Austin's like, I'll do it. <laughs> I would not, Austin, I think Austin's the most likely person to eat it. Like not out of like stupidity, but out of like want to do it. I've seen Austin drink out of a shoe. Austin will do anything. I gotta look up at this Build-A-Bear After Dark. Build. I'm not gonna put it on stream. Build a bear after dark. What is this? The cave bear by build a bear. Adult plush gifts? What? What? Yes, I'm over 18. Oh my God. Submit. Oh my God, it's a real thing. Oh my God. It's called the bear cave! Oh my god! What the hell? That's so weird. I miss Jello. The diet is gonna be the death of me. Jello is so good. I'm sorry you're on a diet, miss. My condolences. But it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it in the end. This is exactly kind of stream topic a soap either would have. That's. <laughs> you're not wrong, Ramen. <laughs> You didn't see anything not safe for work. Okay, I didn't. I wanted to make sure that it was like stream safe. I still won't show it on stream just in case. But I didn't know Build a Bear After Dark was a thing. That is such a that is a weird sentence coming out of my mouth. A weird sentence. TikTok. There are people who make body butters and stuff. They look so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, and they're like ASMR, and you hear them like piping the the body butter into the container. It's very like it's like it's like so like addicting to watch those. Oh my goodness! Remember that episode of Card Captor Sakura? They make teddy bears for Valentine's Day. Oh, <gasps> Card Captor Sakura! I want to eat them. <laughs> Body butter just sounds wrong. I did not like that phrase at first too, but like I'm so used to just like calling it lotion. Sounds good, Kim. Have a good time catching up on Attack on Titan. Body butter does feel nice. It's like it's like an like a more thicker lotion. That's what it is. All right, I think I'm gonna hop onto the Discord. I'm gonna mute real quick so I can set up um, the the what call it the reactives, and then and then we can get started here. Oh, that is not the this this one. I want this one. Uh, let me get rid of. Kev's reactive and Chrissy's reactive and add Whammon and Andrew's browser add existing Whammon 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 Oh why is why is Ramen so large? <laughs> Attack on Titan Whammon Why are you so big? Hold on Uh one second Uh why is why is 
Why is ramen so big? <laughs> Why? Uh. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Why? Why is it like this? He's so world famous. He's got a big head of bigger than IRL Robin. Oh, uh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> My sister for Valentine's Day got her BF Bulls tickets. I got the same tickets to mess with her. Oh my gosh, Miz! That's funny. That is so funny. Uh, height? I'm gonna make the height 500. And with auto. Okay, that's too small. Uh, height? 1,500. Why does that still look messed up? Properties. Hold on. Sorry guys, let me I, I gotta fix this before stream auto. Uh Alright. Ramen. Ramen. Large. Large and in charge. Okay. Large whammon. There's there's whammon. Woo! It's whammon, friend. It's whammon. <laughs> On my screen, Ramen is literally measuring to nine inches. <laughs> oh my god. All right, and then I will add Andrew, browser, add existing, Andrew. There's Andrew. Oh my god, Andrew is also large. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me just quickly. Eh. 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 Mm. Mm. Make ramen just a tad smaller. Because ramen in real life is shorter than Andrew. So you gotta make sure this is also accurate. <laughs> Hi, Pine Pine. How are you? <laughs> How's it going? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, there we go. That looks good, hey? Put ramen and Andrew just a tad smaller. Okay, please move Andrew down like 10 pixels. I got it, I got it. That looks good, right? That looks fine. Oh, thank goodness. I know, I hate it when it's not like perfect. Like you gotta line everything up. I hate that. <laughs> Hi Jay, that final battle against Cynthia had was epic. Ah, it was Pokemon Girl. I had a good time reading it. I had a very good time reading it. All right, friends. Shall we go say hello to our lovely guests of the evening? Uh, let me just close that tab over there. Move this over here. And that should be good. Make it as accurate as uh, the whole peach you were wrong. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay. Let's go say hello to to Mr. Redrawn and Mr. Wham and Bammer. Okay. Oh, actually, let me make sure the filters aren't on on the... Uh, okay, that should be good. And cutscenes if I want to mm -hmm. watch through all of it. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh How are gosh. you two? <laughs> Doing pretty good. good. How are you? Good. That scared me. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I think Andrew is a bit quiet and Ramen is a bit loud. Here. Okay, got it. Here, I will I I'm gonna adjust. That's weird it's usually the opposite for me right I'm yeah quiet same. One. yeah um uh i was on a call with mac earlier and he told me that my uh mic was peaking so i turned down the input uh, <laughs> from my side a little bit okay i got it i got it i got it figured out i just want to take a moment chat to talk about an extremely important topic we <laughs> need to make sure that we recognize our PBST survivors. Our PBST survivors? <laughs> that very important conversation that we just are not having. And you never know when someone's going through post-banana stress disorder. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, you just got to pay attention to that. Yeah. Reach out to someone. Yeah. Jay, are you doing okay? I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, as a as a current PBST survivor, you know, I'm working through it, but it'll be all okay in the end. It'll all be Is okay. Is it PBSD or PBSD? Like, I think you put it wrong. I think I put it wrong, whatever. Okay, it's fine. I saw your Discord status and I died. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Uh, for those that don't know, this is Whammon Bomber and, and Andrew. Uh, I will do collab in the chat. Uh, they are friends. They also stream on Twitch. So please, please, please check them out. Uh, they are wonderful. They are my wonderful friends. And for those... <laughs> and, and for those that are are new here on the on the channel every not every friday but like been almost every friday for the past couple months uh i stream part of pokemon sapphire blindfolded and obviously i can't read chat while blindfolded so i have two friends in chat to make my life hell or help me <laughs> while uh they read chat for me and keep y'all entertained so yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So today yeah. we are going to get through. I'm going to pause the music here and start the game up. Uh, we're going to try and get to Fall Arbor Town. That's the goal today is to get to Fall Arbor Town. So, yeah. Uh, if Andrew and Ramen want to introduce themselves uh, to the chat while I get. Andrew, you're the better streamer. Go first. <laughs> that is certainly not true. <laughs> Um, okay, so Ramen Bomber is a really cool streamer. Oh my God. He does like, speed runs and stuff. He's Twitter famous. Uh, oh, YouTube please. is popping off to an astronomical amount. Um, everyone should oh go God. follow him on all platforms. <laughs> so, Redrun Games is a fantastic banana streamer. He's the best banana streamer on this platform. Uh, also, doing an amazing job of his YouTube content, too, and grinding it out. And he's got a luscious, luscious beard and hair, and he's an amazing person. You should check him out as well. Definitely check him out before this ramen bomber guy. I don't know who. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. Can you guys hear Ramen and Andrew? Okay, let me know if uh, I need to adjust anything before I put on my blindfold, and I can do that. Speaking of banana, I left a banana in my car, and it's brown now. It was bright. Oh no! That's so Brown sad. Nana. Brown Nana. Hi, Logo. How are you? Welcome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi, Cal. Oh, I can't read chat. You had a friend? Yeah, I had a friend who, um, who liked eating bananas when they were like green when they were like what overripe. why yeah. ew um, that's kind of gross like, that's a little bit normal maybe? yeah in, like hispanic cultures dude it was like, like crunchy. no not even a little bit like, crunchy that's, that's pretty normal a actually. crunchy banana yeah yeah dude like it's hard like, have you never had like um platanos or tostones yeah platanos are and knows oh my God. <laughs> I'm not gonna whip that out like this. <laughs> okay, listen, listen, listen. All right, so what, do you ever watch like the Food Channel and like the person is speaking in like a perfectly normal like American accent and uh -huh. then like they they pull out like the like the oh like now I'm going to you know um, grade up some mozzarella and I'm just like come on man I'm not, like. I, I understand. I, I don't want to do accents when I say the words because I just feel like it's a. You don't a, have to do an accent. You just have to say the word right. <laughs> I said platinos. What do you want from me? Platinos. <laughs> yeah, platinos. Uh, <laughs> Ramen's ready to lose it on Andrew. <laughs> Ramen's ready. Right, it's generally Jay getting mad at us, not me getting mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> Logo's right, or you could just say everything wrong. I'm okay. about to, I'm about to put on my blindfold. Goodbye, chat. Have fun talking with Andrew and Ramen. You're and... totally right, Lago. L Lago. Lago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how you say lake in Spanish. Dude. <laughs> Lago. Lago. All right. So when we last left off. We were uh, here. Oh, okay. Thank you. We were here in in uh, Route One Thirteen. I think this is Route One Thirteen. Uh, we just left Fiery Cave, and uh, on this route, there are two. Th oh, there are three things I want to accomplish with this. Right before we get to Fall Arbor Town, I want to. Uh, I want to get the secret power move to build our secret base later. 
I want to uh, heal our Pokemon because our Pokemon are dead. There's a healing house on this route, which we'll get, we'll get to. And then I also want to catch a Skarmory. I don't remember what Skarmory sounds like, and I and I know it's a it's mixing with a bunch of Spindas. So we'll see. I think Skarmory is at like a ten percent, uh, or uh, like rate and and the in the. Freaking root. So yeah, that's the that's the goal for today if we can get there. So we'll see Yeah, how are you a lot, a lot of stuff today? Yeah, we'll, we'll we can do it I believe that the power of God and anime is on <laughs> our side Oh my goodness. So when was the last time you two played Pokemon? Andrew actually, uh, have you what like did you get Arceus? Did you end up getting Arceus or? Yeah, and I and I beat it in like five days. Oh you oh you <laughs> you okay, I haven't heard you play it. Like I, I just <laughs> cannot believe that you grinded out that game that much. Dude, it's so good. Speaking of which, Ramen, um yeah. Uh, Ramen just put out a YouTube video about whether or just put it out. It was a while ago. <laughs> oh my um, gosh. About uh, if short games are bad. And uh, I would say that it's like a shorter campaign. It's probably like 20 to 30 hours, but uh, I think it's well worth the $60. I, yeah, I've been enjoying my time with it a lot. Um, I played a little bit today. Mm -hmm. I caught an Alpha Zubat. And which is like the big boy Pokemon that are out in the world. So it's like extraordinarily large. Mm -hmm. And I've been having a good time. Uh, ah. I wanted to name it Four Eyes after that one thing from the other stream that we did when I was on with Claire. And you thought that Zubat had uh, <laughs> eyes and that it's T for eyes. <laughs> that was funny. Four which, Eyes. By the way, if you want to see that moment, you can check out Jay's TikTok. True! <laughs> I've been editing TikTok. Uh, that reminds me, I should post a TikTok this week. I have not done that yet. I've been trying to post a TikTok like once every week, but I have not been... I I, I have to post one this week. I have not posted one this week. I've been good so far, but oh my God. not yet. <laughs> this is short man defends short games. Lago says, you're, I'm well, attack your boo, your boof of gooseberry, and Jay, please put a cute doll in your base for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... Jay, do you have a base? I don't. Mm. I do not, no. You don't have a Jay layer? I don't have a J a, a layer. Jair. I, I, I have like, I, well, maybe like, I guess like my office is like my base. Is that... Would that count as like a like an evil lair base kind of thing? I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay. You have to. Oh. So. Mm hmm. According to La Lago, <laughs> you have to put, the, uh, put a cute doll in your base. I you should. Have to put a Snorlax doll. Well, you have yeah. an actual Snorlax bigger doll. Oh yeah, IRL. There. True. True. I think I have in the game. I have a. I think I have a Torchic. Polka doll, so I could do that. I'm trying to figure out what moves I have on Grimes. I can never remember the moves of my Pokemon, so I'm trying to figure out what moves are. I also don't know where I am on this route. I thought I knew, but I don't. So that's fun. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh this shit. Is good. This is. How is this? There's a significant level gap between. Your Pokemon and the other Pokemon. Yeah, I, will not I should. Tell you which one is higher or lower? Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Now who now is ask, this? What kind of evil schemes are you scheming in the Jair? What kind of evil schemes I'm scheming in the Jair? I plan on taking over the world. Uh, through my lovely oh my personality. Gosh, how is your enemy alive? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to die. It literally, it literally has a magic pixel. Oh my god! Die, die, die! Did it die yet? Okay, it died. Okay. Okay, I gotta switch out Grimes. I think that was Grimes in the first slot. So I'm gonna. Anyways, back to the evil chair plans. Evil chair plans. I plan on uh switching this here okay i plan on taking over the world with my lovely personality mm -hmm. um 
and I want to actually okay I have a business idea right yeah. I have a business idea I already don't like this <laughs> Sounds evil. Yeah. <laughs> and that is is like okay so you know how bananas go bad really really fast right mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. so, like what people do is like once they notice a banana go bad they either throw it out or they throw it in the freezer uh, so they can use it for later right and then like I don't know about you guys but I like so, like the other day literally the other day I threw a banana in the freezer because it was going bad and I looked at the freezer and I just had like I think I counted like eight bananas in my freezer of just like <laughs> bananas over time that I put in there so my business idea is that people will give me their frozen bananas and then I make a giant like banana bread I don't know how I don't know how I would monetize that, but I feel like that's a good idea. I, I completely agree. feel like you're charging people to send them stuff that they already bought. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just I just that does sound pretty evil. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Nah, I haven't good... <laughs> I haven't worked out all the details yet, but like like there's just like a shit ton of banana like uh, maybe it's just a me problem, but I have a shit ton of bananas in my freezer. And like sometimes I just don't wanna bake stuff. So what if I use something out of those all those frozen bananas? I feel like everyone else could just make their own banana bread though. <laughs> They don't have to send them to you specifically. But well, what if they're lazy? What if they're lazy? Yeah, yeah they're too lazy. Exactly. I, I'm with Jay on this. Thank you. Thank I, you. I, I thank actually you. think because like if you're gonna hire somebody to like help clean your house ah. or like mow your law, mow your lawn. <laughs> wow, the end just disappeared <laughs> off that word. Um, <laughs> then then you should be able to hire someone to make you banana bread. Thank you. Thank you. Thank if you. If we have a modded chat, can we get a poll for this? <laughs> this. Would you subscribe to whatever this banana bread service is? <laughs> is this a viable business opportunity? <laughs> oh my god. Like Tevi says when Jade takes over the world, she must abolish all raisins. True! Ooh, yeah. Jay. True. What, what, would, what would be like your first like policy as you oh. like start the new J like empire. Oh, okay. Okay. Not going to lie. The first thing that comes to mind is that there are no speed limits, but speed minimums. You have to go the speed minimum <laughs> on a certain road. I cannot stop. Mm -hmm. This happened so much today <laughs> while driving home from work that like I was driving on the highway and someone was going 60 kilometers an hour on the 100 I'm kilometer an hour freaking oh, highway. American yeah, freedom put numbers. that put that in freedom numbers, <laughs> and it made me so freaking mad. I was like, "Are you freaking kidding me?" Obviously, depending on rush hour, you know, you can't go, you know, a hundred kilometers an hour on the highway when they're traffic's at a dead stop. 40? Yes, they were, they were going, going forty, like, so sixty. They were going sixty kilometers an hour on a hundred kilometer an hour road. So I don't know. Were they? What lane were they? They in? were in the middle lane. So there were three okay, lanes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. You're not to do that don't do that. Don't do that on the right lane. <laughs> don't do that. It's bullshit. And I was like, Are you kidding me? So people were like creating a dangerous situation, trying to get around him on the ref left and right lane. And like you. <laughs> so yeah, that would honestly be the first thing that I enact as ruler of this nation. Please vote for me. Vote for Jay. As as your the supreme leader, I would do is make it so that when you get past a certain age, mm -hmm. you should have to take your driver's test again. Yes, yeah. <gasps> ramen. Yes, old, old people should not. There's so many old people that should not be on the road. I a hundred percent agree. And it's not that we're ageist. It's just it's a dangerous situation for exactly. some old people to be mm -hmm. driving on the people, road. You, a lot of you guys cannot hear or cannot <laughs> see. And, yeah. And you should not be driving. Mm -hmm. In Canada, the re there is a retesting law, but it's at the age of 80, which is like way too That's late way in too some really cases. High, yeah. yeah. 80 is way, way too late in Canada to get retested. I don't know where I am on this route. Like, yeah, <laughs> old people can't see to drive, just like how Jay can't see to walk. To it's, true. it's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. license, you are currently license, stuck Pokemon. between a rock and a hard place. I am stuck in a nice. rock and a hard place, aren't I? <laughs> where am I? What the frick is happening? 
Lago says you can make an igloo out of bananas. Oh, oh that's good. Frozen banana igloo. That would be intense. You guys do live in Canada, so it would It would work, easy. yeah. It would yeah. work. You are right. You are correct. Do you like ever leave your sodas outside? Yes. Because it's so cold that uh, But you can only huh? leave it outside for a certain period, otherwise like they'll like freeze and it'll explode. Oh. And they're like, cold. yeah. Oh, the carbon? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Bless you. Bless. Okay. Lago says that they're willing to drive over and help. Yeah, do it, Lago. Do it. Drive over. Okay. Uh, there are two patches of grass on, like, this route. Am I on the top patch of grass or the bottom patch of grass? You are on the bottom. Oh, my God. I'm still here? What the frick? <laughs> oh, my God. I thought I passed this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I gotta find... Oh my god, I keep getting stuck! Uh... Claire, hello, Claire. Claire says garages are the best place for chilling drinks. True, true. Yeah. true. Also, like, hi, Claire. Having a fridge that's like specifically for drinks. Yeah. That, like, before you go out. Yeah. And we keep the water down there too, like the water for the water cooler. Because it's cold. Okay, I found you the are... fiery cape. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. We do love Claire. This is too Ke this is true, Kevy. Yes. True. <laughs> it's true. True. Mm-hmm. Lago says that I usually just stick my beer and pop in the walls. So, <laughs> wait. Huh? <laughs> oh right! You guys are weird. You say pop. Yeah, pop. <laughs> you say pop. pop in Canada? Yeah, we're a pop country. That's like Oh, that's strange. <laughs> I feel like pop in America is limited to exclusively like redneck southern areas. Oh, yeah. really? Really yeah. now? Yeah. Oh, that's it's, interesting. Yeah, only place like those kinds of places still call it pop. Oh. Everyone else calls it soda. Interesting. What other funny words do you have for other like real things? Uh... Adding you to everything. I, that's not weird. Oh. The rest of the world <laughs> yeah. does that. Yeah. The rest of the world spells it just like Canada. America's the weird one that doesn't add you to anything. That's not our fault. I don't oh know, my man. god. There's like two of us in here that don't uh -huh. put use in words. Uh -huh. I think that you're uh -huh. in the minority. Uh -huh. Yeah, minor uh -huh. Good call on the minor minority. <laughs> minority. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God, the pain, pain and suffering. Oh, where? Oh my God. Why are we talking about cannibalism in chat? How do we get? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, yeah. what's going on? Let's keep this one up, actually. <laughs> wait, um, Claire, that that's your topic, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the the Claire expert topic right there. Yeah. Is cannibalism. <laughs> Bears and cannibalism specifically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sigs are also called darts in Canada? Really? Yeah. Darts? Well, I guess it makes sense because like, you're hurting yourself a bit. Because mm -hmm. that, 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 that doesn't make sense, but that's how I justify it. Claire asks if she can talk about a serial killer that you saw from a YouTube show. What? Sure, <laughs> sure, sure, Claire, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's, this is what Kim says. This is why she needs more freezers to hide more pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this Pokemon you're fighting. I'm gonna say, um, Felicia and I got like a mini fridge in mm -hmm. addition to our normal fridge, and it is a game changer. They're great, like, aren't they? Yeah, you you put like all of your all of your drinks in there. Yeah. And then you have your fridge for like all of your food stuff. Yeah. It, it's wild. It opens up a whole new world. It does. It really does. And, you know, Claire and Kim might also put a body in there as they're alluding yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lago, oh there may God. be one problem with that, in that I don't like sweets so there's probably very little for me to have at timbits yeah ramen doesn't like sweet stuff okay close so claire says okay so he was called the amazon review killer and was active from 2013 to 20 this was recent 2013 to 2016 okay he killed seven people and he left clues in amazon product reviews when and was like this shovel quote this shovel is short this short shovel is good for when you can't have a big shovel 
What the heck? Oh, How like he left her him. What? So they left reviews this of sounds, shit that he used to kill like people? Not real. That's, yeah, that's crazy. Like, not, like NCIS or something. Oh my yeah. god, that's insane. What? How did no one hear about this? Why am I only hearing about this now? That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh my god. I can have one and it not be a super sweet one. I like like my favorite donuts are French curlers. So do they have French curlers at Timbits? Or, they or do. Tim Hortons? Yeah, Tim Hortons, they do. French curlers okay. are pretty good. It was so rev on reviews for Amazon products like shovels or chainsaws. That's... Oh my gosh. Yeah, what? that dude had main character syndrome. Miz main was like, <laughs> that dude was like, why would you leave behind evidence? Is what Miz, Miz said. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Why would you? <laughs> Like, this sounds like something that, like, a, you would write for a story, right? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't sound like... It's a good story prompt. It doesn't sound like a smart story prompt for being a serial killer. Like, to do, actually do. <laughs> mm -hmm. He could have gotten... I feel like if he killed seven people, he could have gotten away with it if he didn't write reviews, right? Like, that's, like, the cynical part of me is, like... You just... And were they all on like the same account? Yeah, were they That's all on so the same account? Traceable. That's crazy. He got mm -hmm. caught when a couple went to his house to clean it and the couple went missing for a bit. But the couple posted a sus post on Facebook and the police were able to track them and catch him. Good for... Not yeah. good for him, but like, you know, good on the <laughs> couple for yeah. helping find him. Mm -hmm. So this is the good. secret power. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got the secret power guy. Yay. You're yeah, the attention. You're, you're going to be a murderer. Might as well make it flashy, says Lago. <laughs> I feel like there are ways of doing it other than just making it super easy to find out who you are. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, scary. Yeah, no worries, Kim. Enjoy your lurk. Yeah, that, that's insane. Have a good lurk, Kim. I'll definitely check Kim. out that link later, Claire. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm, for sure. I don't know where to go from cannibalism. <laughs> I mean, not cannibalism, but like murder, like serial killers. <laughs> Let's talk about our yeah. favorite flower. What's your favorite flower, Roman? Flower? Okay, yeah. my favorite flower is the kind that you're running into right now. It's not really a flower, but it's in the same, like, you know, group of life. <laughs> um... My favorite, I don't know, Andrew, what's your favorite flower? Right now, I, I have it ready for you. Oh, right now, okay. Okay. Um, right now it's hibiscus because you can make a pretty delicious and uh, colorful tea from it. Ooh, hibiscus mm. tea. Very nice. They're very pretty flowers too. Oh, my favorite flower is floor flower. Floor like flower. <laughs> 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 We have a floor flower eater in the call. Not eater. a floor flower eat. Okay, yes, eater. <laughs> but like, it wasn't technically touching the floor. Okay, do I have to explain this? Okay, Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Okay, Andrew, 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 Andrew. Let me explain this. Literal okay. Okay. Flower. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Andrew, she, she Andrew. The floor. She used it. No, okay, Andrew, hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. All right. Hear me. That's. <laughs> That's that's good financial planning. Thank you, you thank you. Here, okay. Job <laughs> dropping the flower on the floor here, in the first place. Here, here, I accidentally dropped it. Okay, Andrew, hear me out. Okay, so I was carrying flour out of the pantry, but like because like flour is so heavy, it's like in the back of the pantry, right? So like a whole bunch of shit was in front of it. So I was like, oh, I'll just take the flour and I'll lift it up a bunch of, over all the other bunch of shit and then I'll carry it out of the pantry. Well, in the yeah, process yeah, yeah. of me, like, picking up the flour and lifting it out, I dropped, like, the whole bag of flour. Like, flour everywhere. So, like, imagine a mountain of flour on the floor, yeah. okay? 
So what I did to save money is I, I, all I did was just take the top of the flower mountain and put it back in the bag because technically yeah. the top of the flower mountain didn't touch the floor. It was just touching the flower that was underneath it. So obviously I didn't Which use the, fl no! the floor. No, but like that, fl and like no, Robin, no. Mentioned. Touching all no! the stuff that so, was on the floor. So, <laughs> there so, is no five second there rule. There is a five second rule. The five second rule is a thing. They proved it no, on Mythbusters. It is not. It is not. <laughs> First of all, I would like to clear up some misconceptions here. All right, misconception number one there is no such thing as a five second rule. Thank misconception you. number two floor flower is awesome, man. Thank all right, you. If you're, Thank if you're you, Andrew. For cash, Thank you. Gotta you. Use the floor Thank you. I was in the right? middle of baking cookies. The was already mixed in the other bowl. I'm not gonna drive 20 minutes to the grocery store and 20 minutes back for just flour when the flour that was on top of the flour mountain wasn't technically touching the floor. So I just used that. I only needed a cup. I only needed a cup of flour. That's all I needed. So like that's why there's this thing on the channel because I was explaining the story and my justification of it. But I think my justification was completely valid in this case so I yeah <laughs> ramen disagrees but ramen's it's... opinion doesn't matter here it's mine <laughs> <laughs> it adds some spice man thank uh, you thank you floor spice <laughs> yeah floor spice <laughs> what do you want from me <laughs> okay, hi, bioshock. hi bioshock how are you welcome i gotta find the lady Oh, there, I found the lady. Claire says that Andrew and I take, uh, sound quiet in comparison to you. Okay, okay, I can turn yeah. them up. Give I think me part a of that is that Jade's yelling a lot today, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here. Oh, shit. Uh... Okay, I, I think I can take off... I'm gonna take off my blindfold for this. I think it's safe for me to do so, because I know what this house looks like. So. Okay. Oh, I accidentally opened Xbox. Oopsies. There we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the the counter is touching the floor too, Miss? Question <laughs> mark. That's true. Yeah. That's I mean, thank you, Miss. Yeah, that's true, <laughs> Miss. Miss, thank you, Miss. Thank works. you, Miss. That's oh exactly how that works by that logic. <laughs> that's exactly it. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why Miss is the MVP. I I understand. Yes, thank you. This is why Miss is my favorite. This is exactly why Miz is my favorite. I agree, Kev. She should not be thanking Miz. <laughs> not in this context. <laughs> Alright, I turned up Andrew and I turned up... I turned up Wham and Bammer. There we go. Okay. So would you grab a fry off the floor? Yeah. I would, actually, because I have cat. done oh that. My, yeah, I there have... we go. And that explains <laughs> it all. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I would though. I, I, I regularly, regularly eat food off the floor. Honestly, I don't eat unless my food has touched the floor. Honestly, same. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, same. The five second rule doesn't exist, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> it's a justification to eat floor food. It's not my fault that you're just so fancy and posh. Yeah, that, right. so Listen, fancy have, and posh you, you have that you feel food. <laughs> whatever you want, man. Just grows <laughs> off the trees. <laughs> have fun with the floor ice cream. <laughs> It'll give you health by g eating the bacteria from it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's that's how that works. You get healthier, the sicker you get. <laughs> that's true that's true i barely got sick as a child because like i like like here's confession time i did eat dirt as like a child like i <laughs> like like 100 percent. like so like i am probably immune to so many different freaking diseases like i like for sure like i'm not like no cap did you, like <laughs> did, did you wash it out with the soap <laughs> I, there are so many 
things that I've like eaten in my lifetime that like I'm not proud of, but like I can say with certainty that I am probably immune to many different childhood diseases because of it. Thanks, Mom, Jade. for leaving me outside. Jay Dirtson. <laughs> Jay Dirtson. That's so me. <laughs> Claire asked if I wear shoes in the house. I mean, not in my room, but sometimes like you know throughout the house yeah I you do. you wear shoes in the house okay i actually saw yeah, yeah hold on yeah this is like an american thing right like you guys wear shoes american in the thing. house yeah so strange i never understood this concept magical concept some, of shoes in some the house. places will have like you know um like or like some families and homes will like have oh you can take your shoes off at the front but like mm -hmm. it's not common and uh, it's not uncommon Interesting. Have, that's yeah. more uncommon for people to be like, oh, please take your shoes off. Interesting. But that's because most people here, at least, I don't know how it is in Canada, but like, don't have like carpet, uh, like, you know, uh, rugged floors, carpet floors. Yeah, but you can still track shit around like hardwood floors, though. Yeah, that's why you mop. But like, why would you want to mop so often when you could just not? You don't and... have to mop so often. It's like once a week. But like, that's that's a lot. Like mopping once a week is also, like a lot. But it's also like uh, some American houses have multiple like en entrances and exits too to get outside to go like you know. Yeah, so do like, I. But like we leave our shoes at each entrance though. That feels like more work. No, not really. Not really. I don't know. I just like I never understood the concept of that. Also, this is... Okay, okay, I know exactly where I am. Okay, I had to figure out where I was. <laughs> says, you're bringing outside germs inside, so in yeah. that case, yeah, I wouldn't care about the five seconds. You wouldn't care about the five seconds? <laughs> <second rule>? What? <laughs> exactly why you would! Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah. We're uh, just ready to scrap <laughs> over this. <laughs> uh, Yaka said that they don't uh, have or they wear shoes in Brazil uh, when they're inside also. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, Ken I don't says know. That he leaves the shoes at the entrance of Matt and Zam's families because they had that policy. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I mean, my family was like a take your shoes off family, but we were also like a barefoot family. Ah. Inside. Yeah, I, we don't do that. No bare feet. Like, really? But you do shoes? Yeah. But you do shoes! Because with bare feet, you, like, you don't know what you're stepping on. I mean, I guess it depends on the house. Like, you don't know, like, if you're going into the garage and, like... Yeah, if you're wearing shoes you're in the house, you... you don't know what you're stepping on. True. <laughs> what do wait, you mean? Wait, 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 wait. No, because, like, like, when you're out... So, so this is, like, my weird logic with it, right? When you're wearing, like, when you're wearing shoes outside, you don't know what you're stepping in. Like, you could be stepping in baby puke, dog shit, gum, mm -hmm. like, all that mm -hmm. shit. And then when you walk in the house with your shoes from the outside, then you're, like, tracking, like, the germs yeah, and stuff from how. outside into the house. So that's why I don't... Like, even on, like, wooden floors, you're still dragging, like, all oh, those yeah. germs right. and stuff yeah. on I the should, inside. I there that you're worried about stepping in. I should clarify. By wearing shoes in the house. I should clarify that like I'm not like wearing my shoes constantly 24/7 in the house. Like I take off my shoes sometimes when I go into like the garage or something. But like it's not uncommon for like us to just like have our shoes on throughout That's the house. That's so weird. That's you so wear shoes strange. While you're sleeping? <laughs> no. <laughs> I do wear socks. <laughs> Socks acceptable. Socks acceptable. Okay, okay. I, I, we thought the same thing to clarify. <laughs> Lisa says Ramen is behaving in an insane ma in an insane manner. Like, <laughs> like manner as in like M A N N E R or manor or house because I do not live in a manner. <laughs> Absolutely not. A manor. Manor. You don't wear shoes in the garage. Yeah, I do, Claire. I don't, I like, I, if I need to go back into like the garage or something, like I'll put on like sandals, or not sandals, but like, you know, slippers. Mm-hmm. Like in eight- $320 for Jordans? <laughs> Jeez. Expensive. Hell no. 
I'm not wearing that anywhere. <laughs> if I buy shoes, I wouldn't wear that outside or inside. I'd leave that in the Jeez. box. <laughs> oh my god. I don't god. get the whole shoe buying thing. Like, I mean, like, I get having multiple different pairs of shoes. I, like, grew up, like, in around high school, I just did not care, and I mm -hmm. wore the same pair of, shoes, pair of shoes until, like, they withered out. Mm. And, but, like, 300, like, plus for sneakers is, like, bro. Why? I get why, but, like, still. It's collectible. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, just like NFTs. This isn't the problem. Oh, please. Shoot, shoot <laughs> NFT. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kev. <laughs> Hi, Kev. I feel like you're specifically on. here to yell at me. Oh, hi, Kev. <laughs> I, I wear slippers or Crocs inside because I have stepped on, like, a nail. Exactly. Shards of glass. Yeah, you don't know. In your house? On the house. Why would, why in would you, house. Why would you ever have shards of glass or nails on the floor <laughs> I, in your house? You why would you ever? You dog poop. Where That's would you ever have that? Before. In the house? You have dog in poop house? in the house? What yeah, the hell? I have a dog! Yeah, but like you don't treat- <laughs> why, why is the dog pooping in your house? Because sometimes a dog misbehaves! Oh my god! The dog is gonna get it right 100% of the time! Oh my god! Jay has never broken a cup in her life. Exactly, I think it shows. I've broken a cup, but I vacuum the shards and I sweep it up afterwards. So that way, I don't have to deal with magical glass shards hurting my feet, <laughs> like, months later. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> oh, my Jay God. <laughs> oh, my cursor. Sorry. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Some, exactly. Sometimes you miss a shard. Glass is hard to find. I don't know. I've never stepped on a shard of glass. I'm, I'm grateful for that. Yeah. Never like a big enough piece for it to worry about like injury or anything like that. Like if you vacuum up, I feel like you shouldn't worry about like slug. Yeah. Slug. <laughs> <laughs> said in relation to this that Kevin doesn't wear protection. <laughs> <laughs> In your own house? Of course not! Yeah! Why would you no. need to? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, when did this become an 18 plus stream? Yeah. <laughs> well, we started talking about eggplant bath bombs. Yeah. <laughs> I like conversations like this though, Clay. Like the culture shock conversations where it's like, yeah, wow, too. you guys are living completely different lives. Yeah. Like, with different habits and tend tendencies. I agree. Like, I I'm don't trying to think know. of things that like I do that's weird now. That would be weird to other yeah, people. Yeah, now I'm trying areas. to think. I'm trying to yeah. think now too. We do love Kevin. This is true, Lago. No, oh, I died. Unfortunate. Yeah, so Kevin says the nail scenario is more like a big thumbtack. Okay. I see, I see. Okay, I just thought of one. When you go shopping, um, do you, like, what do you call when you, like, what do you use to pull around your, um, your, like, your items? Your groceries? Like, like yeah. a shopping cart? Okay. I know in yeah. some places it's different, like, um... A trolley? trolley. A trolley? Yeah, yeah. And it Truly, dear. Oh my god. Anything <laughs> we'll the take truly. a lot. It will take a lot. <laughs> Thank you, oh Andrew. God. At least you understood that reference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't understand the reference. Oh, though. Robin, it's okay. Me and Andrew yeah. can have our cool trolley reference club. It's yeah. okay. What is the reference? <laughs> no, if you know the reference, yeah, if you know you the, reference, the reference, yeah. Oh that ruins god. the reference. It ruins the joke at that point. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a special trolley club thing. You yeah, understand. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, fine. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's a weird one that I'm just remembering now too. You guys don't. It's not common for you guys to have like a um, a washing machine and a dryer, or not specifically like not a washing machine, but like a dryer. Like, 
from, I remember someone saying oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, other countries will, like, hang clothes instead of having a dryer. Ah, yeah, okay. Like, that's common in, like... Like, I would say in the big cities, it's not common. Like, we have washing machines and dryers. But in, like, rural places, it's more common to hang stuff, I would say. Mm. In Canada, yeah. But from what I gathered when I last heard about that, it wasn't because of, like, um... You know, like financial like needs, but like just because people just didn't use the dryer. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is weird. Yeah, we have to have dryers, like in in Calgary especially, because you can't hang your clothes in the winter. The winter gets too, too cold, cold here. Yeah. yeah. So we have to have a dryer. Lee says that she had culture shock when you went when she went to Canada because you guys have escalator rules where to stand and everyone follows them, and America does not do that. No, like our escalator, like what directions do you go on the escalator is like enforced? Like not enforced. It's, it's like, like it's like, like it's all, it's common knowledge to stand on the right on the escalator. And so that way people that need to go places faster go on, like start climbing the stairs on the left on the escalator. Like everywhere I know in Canada, it's like that. So that way people can get past faster. Yes, Kev, enforced by the escalator. <laughs> the escalator Gestapo. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to think of another word that, like, had an E in front of it. Oh, yeah. Where does Ramen live? That he's used to people going the wrong way up the escalator. People, all the time. Like, people go up the... Dude, the, like, people the in New down. York are ruthless. Yeah, <laughs> we don't care. If we need to get somewhere, we're going however we need to. It doesn't matter if the escalator's going up, we're going down it. Like Really? Yeah, yeah, we just go. Really? Like, you'll... Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, like, in yeah. Canada, we just, like... Like, you go up the up escalator, and you go down the down escalator. Nope. Yeah, we'll... I mean, like... We'll go, but like if we're in a rush, and if someone's in a rush, it's not normal. It's not 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 uncommon for wow. like, people to just not care and just go down. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I don't know what moves I'm using. <laughs> Why Bioshock says watch out for the escalator dragon <laughs> or they eat your shoes. <laughs> This is truly no one in America gives a crap about others. Oh, don't say Especially, that. I feel like <laughs> in New York specifically, mm -hmm. it is very, very strange. Cause I'm I grew up in New York, so You're I'm right. used to it. Right. But like when you go outside of New York and you get people that are like when you go to the store and people are like, oh hi, how was your day? Like talking to you, like yeah. trying to talk to you. <laughs> like it is so weird like why are you talking to me? right yeah. uh -huh. new yorkers like it's not because we're i mean and it seems so rude to everyone else but it's like in new york it's very much like you care like you focus on yourself oh, like, oh my you, gosh like yeah thank you so much for the raid okay. someone thank you nova fang for raiding with a party oh, of five nova. last streaming art thank you so much for the raid how are you hey gem how is stream? Yo, HM. Hello, HM. Hello, Welcome, friends. Guys. How, how was the art? How was the the emotes? I think you were oh, doing. Oh, were you drawing? Right, Nova? Oh, Let's that's go. exciting. What were you drawing? Oh, she'll give me You're a free. You're doing bird. good. Slow progress. Slow progress is progress. Nonetheless. That's true. Oh, true. they were working on HM's new emotes. <gasps> Oh, wait, oh my god, that, that's oh, so exciting. That's hype, that's hype. That is very hype. Ooh, I'm excited to see. Yeah, can we get some HMO2 bubs in chat, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone yeah, needs to do that. Yeah. Let's crowdsource this. <laughs> mm -hmm. The HMO2 bub supremacy. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like back to what we were talking about earlier it was like mm -hmm. new york like it's very like people won't say hi to you like while walking down the street or anything yeah. like that interesting right? like, we like weird. not like <laughs> it's weird when other places like you know like if you're at like a store and mm -hmm. like a workable like just strike up a conversation with you that's very very weird mm -hmm. like and i don't know if that's like and when i go outside of like new york and it's like oh like, people are nice are we just <laughs> like, are we actually just rude? 
dude, I went to um went to Tennessee. Uh, and it, it's it's kind of similar in Philly. Um, I, mm. I think that Philly, you'll still probably like, especially during like the Eagles season or football mm. season. Like people will just talk about the Eagles on the side of the road uh, or whatever. Yeah. But like, um, but like, we went to Tennessee, and um, like we were in this store and we were buying a bunch of stuff, and then like literally like the the people that were on either side of the queue of us just started talking to like <laughs> us like while we were in line like all three of us it was just so bizarre and then they were also like oh like you can use my value card or whatever to like get get like five dollars <laughs> off of the off of the grocery price or whatever it, it was just the most alien experience of my life because I like in in the city you just kind of like keep to yourself and yeah like, you, you know you don't i don't know it was just very very strange that's weird huh Interesting. Is right new york chances um in new york the chances of someone saying hi are less than the chances of someone yelling at you in a drunken rage <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah <laughs> that's crazy what is that like that in Canada or, or like not like that in Canada? No, like, like 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 I like one like staple thing that Canadians do that like lots of people are culture shocked by is that when you switch lanes, like it's like say it's like standstill traffic and you want to switch to the other lane, it's very customary to like when you switch into that lane, you wave to the person behind you that let you in what? as a thank you. Yeah, that's like a what? thing. Like in my in my city that in particular, weird. that's like a thing. Yeah is very like that's strangers. crazy that you don't even talk to each other what? that's wild yeah combos of strangers is so common really yes combos like i i cannot count how many times i've talked to the person in front of me at the grocery aisle like it it happens like so no, often that's gross i hate it <laughs> yeah i just want to get my stuff and get out like why are you talking you? to me <laughs> <laughs> Lee says, I feel like New Yorkers are get a rep for being rude, but Phillies are, um, people from Philly are another level. I cannot attest okay, because okay, I've never okay. been to Philly. Listen, this is your, yeah. We, we might, we might, like, riot whenever we have, like, a, a sports game or whatever, but, like, it's fine, okay? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. if you come over here, it's not that bad. <laughs> Bioshock, I am so sorry to inform you that New York no longer has a Pokemon Center. <gasps> they don't? They, they, yeah, I mean, like, they have... It used to be part of Nintendo New York, like, yeah. the store in Rockefeller Center. Right. But um, it just got converted into, like, a Pokemon, like, corner oh, in the store. Oh, I see. Nintendo New York, not gonna lie, kind of mid nowadays. Aw, that's so There's sad. Some, I mean, maybe that's as coming from someone that's, like, you know, been there so many times. True, true. But... There's some cool stuff, like some cool memorabilia. They have like mm -hmm. one section where they have every single amiibo that's ever been released, including that's like awesome. outside the US. Oh, cool. But, um, and they have the on display. Probably the coolest thing they have on display is, um, the Game Boy that survived like an atomic blast. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's and, awesome. And it's that's still cool. playing Tetris. That's cool. <laughs> but, um, honestly, outside of those two things, like if you, unless you've like, you know, you ever been to it, like, mm -hmm. Especially since they started stopped doing like live big events. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do them now again, like a little bit now that things are getting better somewhat. Mm -hmm. um, like whenever a new game releases, and they'll have like a whole setup for it. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like actually buying stuff, there's like not a whole lot. Really? Huh? Yeah. That like you can't get anywhere else. Oh, that's kind of sad. Mm -hmm. There's it's... also less places to just play games. Like mm. I'm pretty sure that's COVID, but yeah. Mm -hmm. True, true. But that's okay because there's so many other cool stores like around that same area that has yeah. even cooler stuff. Like a lot of retro game shops and collection stuff like that. Uh, like ones that have like multiple floors. Mm-hmm. Of stuff. Really like all those kinds of stores are like around the same area. They're awesome. I see, I see. Yeah, I, I went to a retro store um, when I visited New York once, and I got like um, like a Pac-Man game for like the Atari Twenty Six Hundred or something. Ooh. Like that. One of my favorite stores is um, what's it called? 
uh, Kinokuniya. Oh, gosh! And it's a Japanese <laughs> import store, and it's so good. Oh, hi, Tetra! Welcome to oh, the raid! Oh, Ted! Hello! Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Tetra, so much for Love to see it. Jay cannot see chat right yeah. now. Yeah! So hello, I'm, he, I'm Raman, and I'm here with Andrew, reading chat for her, but thank you so much for the raid. Hi, Ted! How are you? How was stream? How is Tetris Effect connected? I think that's what Ted was playing today. Yes. I think I saw that. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so You're much. Am I hearing Ramen the Twitter super <laughs> Tet, please. <laughs> oh right, God. right, right, Tet, right. I I remember seeing that tweet when it, it had like two retweets and I liked it <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait, that's a funny because like that's haha. -ha. And then I yeah. literally like I was playing. I think I was playing like a game or something. And then I went back on Twitter like three hours later and it was like like seven thousand retweets and I was like, what the frick is going on over there on Ramen's Twitter? I was so confused. <laughs> That's 61,000 now. Oh my god! That's Absolutely so much crazy. insanity. It's going down now, but like, oh my god. That's too the funny. The past two days have been insane. That's crazy. <laughs> Your Wi-Fi is sucking bad. I'm sorry, Lago. Don't worry. Hope you get that sorted out. Yeah. Have a good rest of your night. Good night, Lago. Mm hmm Oh, Lee, the toy. So Lee's upset that they never got to see the Times Square Toys R Us store. Aww. Um, oh, that's so sad. That store was... It was weird. Because to be honest, outside of like... Whenever our new console came out... Yeah? Not a lot was really going on there. Oh, really? Yeah. I think... What was it? There's a really good defunct line episode on the Toys R Us store. Mm -hmm. And basically the idea was that... Because it had like a whole... Um, Ferris wheel inside of it, mm -hmm. like, well, like a huge right, Ferris wheel right. inside the store, and like a bunch of like different attractions and stuff. And the problem was that people were going in to like for that, but they weren't going in to actually buy toys. Ah, so I that's see. why it like closed down. I over see, time. I see. The store is all right. Oh gosh. It's just, so, it's so weird to me, like, as a New Yorker who's always been here, to, mm -hmm. like, hear about how, sh not strange, but, like, how exciting the city is, mm. right? Because yeah. so many other places in the world just don't have urban metropolis. That's true, like, that's like true. Because, that. mm -hmm. like, I've yeah. always wanted to go to New York, but, like, it's so mm -hmm. expensive. Like, that's the thing. It's, like, it's freaking expensive yeah. to travel there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, I, I find it interesting too, cause like I, you know, I'm in Philly right now, right. which is obviously not New York, but like we used to take like field trips to to Philly all the time. Mm -hmm. We visited um, New York a bunch of time in high school when we were doing sports and stuff like that. So like it, it it's interesting for me to hear people wanting to go to New York because I'm just like, ah, that's just another city, baby. Like, yeah. there's so many cities on the East Coast. Yeah. We have, like, this uh, Philly, Boston. Like, it, it's it's crazy that, I don't know, they're, that the middle of the country basically doesn't exist. That there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Empty void, honestly. Yeah. Oh, I died. Boston says if we go to New York, we can all stay at Romans. I don't know. Get space for that, but <laughs> depends on how many is all. <laughs> all of us. <laughs> Everyone here. Everyone, Everyone in chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like Boston a lot. Um, Como. I want to go to Boston. My dad got to go to Boston before I was born, so I have like pictures of my dad like hanging out in all these like cool places. And she's like, I want to go there and like take pictures of where my dad was. So that'd be like a ha ha funny picture kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it, it's cool there. I I think that like the thing that separates Boston from like other cities for me is that it has like curvy and hilly streets, in certain mm -hmm. areas where I feel like most cities that I've been to are like grid. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I I felt that way when I visited San Diego, or not San Diego, San, San Francisco. San Francisco has very like curvy, like not mm -hmm. straight roads, very not grid based kind of thing, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah, the brick streets in Boston are cool too. There, there are certain areas in like, um, definitely the older cities, like the cities on the East Coast. Um, there are still areas where like there's like brick and like even like some places still do like horse-drawn carriages and stuff like that, Ooh. Um, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, in Philly, we have an area that like all of the lanterns or all of the lamps mm -hmm. are like gas lanterns. Ooh. Um, yeah. That's so fancy. Austin says you want to do that too. Your parents met in Okinawa when your dad was in the force. Wow, in the Air Force. Wow. Ooh, in the Air Force. So fancy. It's like you lose it in the city from being in a small town. <laughs> I feel like I I'm the opposite. I need if I ever like move out of New York, I need to go somewhere urban. Mm -hmm. I cannot live in, in small town that is rural. Yeah, nope. that's fair. That's fair. I feel the same way actually, because I grew up in like like my city is like not super big, but it's also not really small. So I feel like I'd have to move to a city that's kind of like the same, or at least very very city ish not rural at all kind of deal. Okay. Austin says Denver makes me lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in Denver. There's nothing there. Denver doesn't exist. Denver literally doesn't exist. Is it like Colorado, like a square? Like, is it like the whole state just a square? I'm pretty sure Is I'm it? right. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. There's just so many states that's like that does that state doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> like all the middle states, like Wyoming, Colorado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Co Colorado is a square. You okay, right. I am right. Yeah, see, I know my my state shapes. Mm -hmm. I well, know. Colorado is pretty. I'm looking at pictures right now. It is pretty pretty. Ooh. The, yeah, I, the thing that is, I feel like, a little foreign to us over on the East Coast is also, like, we don't have a lot of mountains. Ah, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, like, there's some pictures of, like, for example, pulling out the, um, my vast amount of high school musical knowledge. <laughs> the, um, the one, uh, like, there's this one shot of, um, Troy playing basketball with his dad in his like driveway. Right. And you could see like these giant mountains in the background. And uh -huh. I'm like, dang, that must be so cool to have mountains like yeah. outside of your house that you can see. <laughs> Calgary's like that. Calgary, you can see the mountains from actually if there's a hill by my house and if you climb to the top of it, you could see the mountains from from there. It's That's pretty wild. cool. This is pretty cool. I don't know where, um, how this information was gotten, but I'm looking up the ranked most boring states in America. And New York <laughs> is number 50 dead last, <laughs> with Idaho being number one. Idaho? Idaho? <laughs> They have potatoes, man. That's but, like, but like, there's yeah, nothing they, else. They're else in the ground. They have? There's what else do oh they have? <laughs> Oh my god. They have potatoes, but the potatoes are in the ground. You can't look at them. You can't exactly. look at the potatoes. <laughs> oh my gosh, Idaho. Poor Idaho. Poor Idaho. Number two is South Dakota. South Dakota. Oh, I forgot South Dakota existed. <laughs> yeah. Does North Dakota exist? Yeah, yes, the North Dakota's, Dakotas also <laughs> exist. <laughs> Dakotas are just kind of there. Honestly. Right? Like, I forgot the, that they were there. Yeah, <laughs> so does everyone else. <laughs> <in America>. mm -hmm. <laughs> Why is there such a big gap between New Jersey and New York on this list? Wait, what's the title like, of the list again? Top 50, mo uh, like the most boring states ranked. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, N New York is dead last and New Jersey is 33. Interesting. Yeah, we're right. That no, big, right? Come on. All right, New Jersey. Yeah, why is that so big? <laughs> New Jersey is super interesting because we have New York to the north and Philly to the. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> like you have your choice. You know what? There you go. That, that, that's why. Yeah. I yeah. think that's why because the like like there's like New Jersey's selling point is that it's next to more interesting oh, that, states. <laughs> yeah, that's, like that's yeah. really what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, that Florida that is, is part of the top five. <laughs> Florida is like literally up to the top five with 1545. There's Disney there. Yeah, yeah that's that makes I sense. Like Florida There's should so be many higher. Theme parks. Why is Florida lower than Maryland, Louisiana, Massachusetts? What's in Louisiana? Island? What the frick is in Louisiana that makes it so know. interesting? Look it up, Robin. Look it up. Look it up. What's in Louisiana? Why is also where is California on this? Lee, when did you um? When did you move to uh to New Jersey? By the way, oh, and, and yes, California uh, there is are... like right outside the top five. Okay. <laughs> there are um there are a lot of mountains like sort of on the eastern side of PA. It's like there are spots in Pennsylvania that's like very very like country y like mm. um like yeah like farm not even farmlands. It's just like nothing's there. It's just like I nothing's see. there. Oh, that's missed. <laughs> I like Lise. Lise says she lives in New Jersey and this state ain't... Well, I'm, I don't I don't swear, but yeah. <laughs> New Jersey's great, man. I, I, I refuse. I refute I have, everyone's hatred for New Jersey. I have a, one of my best friends. It lives from, it like, comes from New Jersey. And if I ever tried talking crap about New Jersey, she would have my throat. <laughs> mm. New Jersey pride is strong. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. North, south, or central, Lee? So here's here's the great thing about New Jersey, uh -huh, okay? Uh -huh. Um we have this wonderful enigmatic food mm -hmm. called pork roll. Pork roll. And it is the most unhealthy <laughs> delicious food that you could ever eat. It's like it's like spam uh -huh. if it was in like it, it, it just looks like salami. <laughs> Like, but it's bit so salami. good. It's it's basically the saltiest um, combination of all of the parts of a pig you don't want to eat, and it's it's so delicious. Um, and honestly, most of New Jersey uh, culture is based around pork roll, and also the fact that um, Bruce Springsteen came from our state, and that's like <laughs> the only thing that we have, honestly. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, you yeah, that's one that you opened up, Lee. What is everyone? I'm sure you guys don't have them in Canada. Uh -huh. What is everyone outside of the Northeast's obsession? Not outside of the Northeast, outside of New York's obsession with Wawa. Wawa. Everyone treats Wawa like Oh, the Wawa gas like station. The like gas station. Yes. <laughs> the gas Wait, station. Wait, you know it's more than a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, okay. It's a wonderland. Everyone says that it's the closest thing to heaven on earth. And I was like, it is. How? I've never been to Wawa. I've never. I've always just seen it on road trips, and I'm like, that's a place. And then people are acting like it is like the best place on earth. It, it, like they would marry a Wawa if they could. It's hard to explain, but it, it's you know a feeling of family. You walk inside, <laughs> and you're like, man, that that's that's where the salami is. Like that's where the the nice the nice wheat whole wheat roll is that you put on and and eat that's it i don't know <laughs> it's, it's, it's good food <laughs> you can you can tell lee is a new jerseyan because lee is like wawa is love wawa yeah, is yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think that's the one trait that all people from new jersey have they could like new jersey or they could hate new jersey but they love wawa yeah they always love wawa <laughs> They they have uh, great uh, sandwiches there, it, and uh, like a lot a lot of nice food. They have really good um, their own brand of like iced tea and lemonade mm -hmm. and stuff. That's pretty good. Um, it's funny because like I've been to New Jersey so many times, and I've just never been to Wawa. <laughs> They have quesadillas, which are great, and like only five dollars, but it's what? like a lot of food for five dollars. What? It's awesome. Okay. I like Once you've had Wawa, you don't know how to live without it. It's true. Mm -hmm. That's literally what I hear everyone Yo, saying. Yo, Lee, like, what do you think about those charlatans that talk about sheets all the time as if it's okay? <laughs> huh? Sorry. <laughs> huh? 
Um, yeah, dude, sheets is so bad, man. What, what Sorry, are sheets? Just, we're, we're, we're becoming New Jersey in the chat right now. We're, we're going full New Jersey. I'm so confused. You know, so that's the bullet back of there. Yeah. I'm so lost. I, I hear sheets. I hear wawa. Like, what the frick are these words? You're speaking out of your mouth. Excuse yeah. me. So it, it, it's like... Uh, rival chain that is not good, but people pretend it is. I, I don't see. Know. Alcade says Wawa is a meme store to like Bucky's. What is Bucky's? Oh, public. Well, What's the, Publix? Uh, pub Publix like... is like a, so a southern um, supermarket. Okay. It sounds like, like a like nightclub. Yeah, it Publix. does sound like a nightclub. <laughs> yeah. It's spelled with an X. Yeah. Which is why I think it sounds like a. Bro, we about to get turnt in Publix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Buggies is a high wrong? quality gas station franchise in Texas. Ah, okay, got it. Okay, Southern sounds... gas station supermarket, and they're huge. How big are we talking, Southern? What that was sounds that, like Andrew? Wawa. Um, what, when's your birthday? September thirteenth. Okay. Why? As, uh, I was just wondering. Why? <laughs> I was just wondering. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I really don't like that. <laughs> I mean, I won't remember anyway, so you don't have to worry about <laughs> it. What, what's your birthday, Andrew? <laughs> uh, September 13th, funnily enough. Oh. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> no, it's uh, October. October 28th. Wait, oh no, never mind. I was gonna say, wait, that's the same day as, and then it's not. It was close to my dad's birthday. Did I know that the ninth biggest pyramid in the world is the Bass Space Pro Shop? That yeah, I, 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 oh my god, no, it's, it's 100% true. I've seen that before. What? There's a, Actually? There's a, a Bass that Pro amazing. Shop that is in the shape of a pyramid. What? It's the ninth largest pyramid in the world. What? It's in Memphis, Tennessee. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Why I don't remember how I there? know that, but I knew that. <laughs> Man, I should have. I visited Tennessee like, I don't know, last fall. We should have gone. If only I had known. <laughs> Imagine. Okay, so story prompt idea. You take you time travel someone from ancient Egypt who's used to like you know uh, pyramids being for like royalty and like you know high government and everything like that, and then you take them inside the base pro fishing shop like pyramid. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that what that be like um like a mini series or like those four panel comics or something like that. Yeah, but... yeah, it's a good idea. You were born in Hawaii, poke um Bioshock Dragon. Wow. I want to go to Hawaii one day. Hawaii yeah. seems like a beautiful place to go. Mm -hmm. It's uh small. It seems small, it's like each small. of the islands. I wonder. I wonder. Like, I kind of want to run around like the whole island, like in one day. I Wait, what? Do <laughs> I don't think you, you can could do, do that. <laughs> what? You can do that in Puerto Rico and um. I'm not sure if you can do it in DR, but like, yeah, they're small enough to be able to do that. Oh, really? That'd be yeah. sick. Puerto Rico. Well, at least drive. Maybe not run, but like you can 100% drive. Interesting, interesting. How do you spell Maui? Maui? Maui. It was like, all Maui just messing around. <laughs> That's a good movie. Yeah. I haven't seen that movie in a while. I feel like we have not talked about Pokemon at all this stream. Uh, don't worry, I tried. <laughs> we haven't. It's okay. I I made it to Fall Arbor. We're try. I'm trying to find a Skarmory. That's that. So like literally, I'm drained. I'm grinding my Pokemon and trying to find a Skarmory. So you have not come across the Skarmory. Yet. Okay, okay, you know thank that. God. Okay, okay, thank God. I figured it was only Spindas so far. <laughs> it's been Spindas and Sandshrews. Ah, Sandshrews. Kevy said that they uh, they forgot that it was a Pokemon stream. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> That's what these streams end up being anyway, is just talking about random shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I'm here for it. <laughs> well, that was sand true. I was wondering, I was like, why is water super effective against Spinda? That doesn't make any sense. I was wondering what was happening there. That's a Spinda. Mm. The 3D game, Spinda's like spots are different on each model. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Beautiful. the same with this game too. Oh really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. I didn't think they did that like on. Yeah, the... it's yeah. something like three billion combinations or yeah. something like yeah. that. Yeah, the chances of getting two Spindas that look the same is like a ridiculous percentage. I don't know exactly what it is, but. Wow. Yeah. Some say it's never been done. Yeah, that's true. There's some sad soul out there who's probably trying to get every single spinda. True! <laughs> oh True. my god. There, there's actually no point. Yeah. <laughs> you, would, you would actually die before doing <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine someone trying? That'd be pretty fun. Someone 100%. Mm -hmm. No, it would not. <laughs> There's a house up here. Oh, actually, I think this is the house. Hold on. I'll be your beat. I'm gonna get some water. Good idea. Okay. Yeah, I need some of that too. I'll, I'll switch <laughs> out after you. Okay. Yeah, got you. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> That's a that's a really cool blind. Where did you uh, or eye eye mask? Eye mask? I think it's yeah, called yeah, yeah. Eye, blindfold. I don't know. Why, yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Um, it's a yeah, pig. It, yeah, oh, is it? It's, yeah. It looks like a cat. It's a, it does kind of look like a pet. The ears. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. What's with that, man? Why do they have the same ears? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm being misled. <laughs> some weird like evolutionary convergence there true true you know what i want to live in a world where pigs are treated like cats like i want a pet pig i really want a pet Dude, pig right they are <laughs> incredibly cute they are so Especially smart like, too the, yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. and they they get you truffles yes which is great true true um there was that one movie uh with nicholas cage that had <laughs> pigs in it true I'm pigs. There's so many good things about pigs, man. I love pigs. They're so cute. I, I read this story about how, like, this lady had, like, a, a pet pig. And, um, like, the, the pig, like, followed her everywhere. And so, like, one day she was, like, in the garage, like, doing some shit. And some, like, serial killer murderer, like, came up to her in the garage. Like, her garage door was open. And, like, started, like, attacking her with a knife. And the pig came in and, like, bit the guy's ankles and shit. And, like, attacked the guy. And, like, protected the lady. And the guy ran away. And then he was, like, later, like, found or whatever. Like, whatever. Dude, they caught that him. And I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Dude, That's what? so smart. Yeah. What did I want? We need a I just pain. Pain. I'm so confused. True! I am 100% so agree. Confused. As 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 found it, as running for the world leader of being in charge of the world, yeah. I say that we get a, a pig police force and, yeah. and hire them so they can protect our people from the dangerous people that are out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and then and then like mm -hmm. you you mm -hmm. get the mounties to ride them instead yeah, of Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yes, I like this idea. I like this. Ten, ten, ten. Yes. Hi, Ramen. Well, we're talking about pigs. Yeah, we're talking <laughs> about pigs. <laughs> um. <laughs> you missed a lot. Yeah, you did. You did miss it a lot. It was like a minute. <laughs> yeah, it was real quick okay. conversational development in that one minute. So. All right, I'm getting water. Bye. Okay, you, bye. Oh, oh, yeah, so if you have a pig police force. Yes, yes. Does that mean that if, let's say, they were on patrol mm -hmm. and they needed reinforcement, mm -hmm. would they call it the bacon backup? Ye yes! <laughs> yes! They would! They would yeah. call it the bacon backup! You're oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, Robin. I like the. Yeah, this is why I keep you around, Robin. You're always, always thinking up here. Always thinking. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Now I was telling I was telling Andrew this story about like how this lady had a pet pig and like mm -hmm. like the pig like followed her around and everywhere and one day mm -hmm. she was like in her garage like her garage was open and she was just like working in the garage and then like the serial killer murderer like walked up to her and started like stabbing her and shit oh. and and like and like the pig like protected the lady and started like biting the dude's ankles and yeah yeah smart pig and like the guy like ran away because he was like what the fuck a pig and then like left mm -hmm. and then. And then, and then and then like the police like later caught him and whatever and then like yeah and then the lady was like yes pig protect me Let's yay go. right so that's why we need a pig police force to protect Ooh, our people warlock says if a pig created a karate move would it be called a pork chop <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's, pretty that's, good. The, that's the signature move of the pig police force. That's the signature mm -hmm. right there. Yes. Yes. I like it. I like the way you think. The pepperoni pork police. <laughs> the PPP. The PPP. <laughs> oh my god, where's my hand on the mouse? <laughs> When I was, this reminds me of like when I was growing up. I grew up in an apartment building on the first floor. Uh huh. And in the area, we would have um, police horses that uh -huh. like you know walked and did patrols because there was a stable nearby, and um, they would come up to me and like come up to like the front window of like the house. Uh huh. And whenever the horse, whenever the like horses were coming around, like my parents would always say like, "Yo, like not yo, but like, you know, like, <laughs> hey, like the horses are around," and um. The police officers would always just come up to like my floor because they knew I would get so excited as a uh -huh. kid. Aww. Like, oh my god, like the horses. Aww. From that. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. Lee says this is why I keep a toy lightsaber around so if someone breaks into your house <laughs> to kill you, you will be too shocked to continue once I whip it out. <laughs> huh? Huh? I, toy lightsabers are lethal. If you've never jammed a finger with one of them, you haven't lived. <laughs> I want a lightsaber so badly. Me too. Yeah. Those ones from Disney World are so cool. Mm -hmm. You don't need you don't need them to cause permanent damage. <laughs> you use the normal ones too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is okay. Can I ask? Is the house in view? That's on this route. Yes. Like, okay. Okay. Yeah. You are. Fuck. Colder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you are colder. Okay, noted. Ah, uh, Spinda, please. <laughs> Lee is. Uh, Lee keeps a uh, keeps that thing on them. Lee uh, <laughs> keeps a toy lightsaber around <laughs> to use as a weapon in Shrap. case of home uh, home breakage. How do you say that? Mm -hmm. Someone breaks in. <laughs> if someone tried to mug me, I would just pull up. Toy lightsaber. Yeah. Dude. Jump on like a table or something and say that I have the high ground. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, if I were a mugger and I saw someone had a toy lightsaber, I'd be like, "Give me the toy lightsaber." <laughs> what if? So what if you mug someone with a toy lightsaber? <laughs> honestly, you're thinking. You're honestly <laughs> thinking right now. And then you're like, this is your journey. Like you, you're constantly in search of an opponent to challenge you, and you're just trying to find someone who pulls up with Darth Maul's lightsaber, with two <laughs> like red ones on each end. <laughs> I want to have, your... have a lightsaber fight with somebody. Yeah. It's like the, it's like a like I want to have a nerf fight. I want to have like a big like rent out of place, and mm -hmm. like have a huge mm -hmm. skill either nerf fight or lightsaber fight. Yeah, I think that'd be awesome. Dude, mm -hmm. nerf fights were so crazy. When I was in college, um, I'm dating myself. <laughs> um, when, I, when I was in college, uh, my friends and I, uh, like, there were, I think, eight to ten of us mm -hmm. that uh, stayed at school in order to, like, work summer jobs mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. at, at, our, uh, at our college. And we would go into, like, the main room that had like 
are the main hall that had all of our classrooms and we would have giant nerf wards. Mm -hmm. It That's was so the good. coolest part about being in uh, in university. That's so was, cool. Uh, that, that, That's yeah. so good. I did that like a little bit, like um, after school programs that would help like work at, like we would do stuff like that with the mm -hmm. kids, but like never on a huge scale. I'm thinking like we rent out like a laser tag place Ooh. and then do a nerf fight there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that would be dope. Zoomer's model like sprite is so chunky. I know, right? Yeah. Why is it like that? Well, from the side. <laughs> <laughs> like, from the front of the back, it looks fine. From the side, he's just like blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the contest hall. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, mm -hmm. that is not where I want. I mean, I could. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We, we, we could be in here. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Oh, uh, let me think for a second. Let me think. There is a lady, I think, in here that gives you something. I can't remember what it is, though. Hmm. Yeah, you, you know what? We don't need to be here right now. We can come mm -hmm. here later. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't even remember how where she is, but. That means I'm on the bottom half of town. Where are we trying to go? The Pokemon Center, okay. which is some, somewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'll, uh, uh, I'll figure it mm -hmm. out. I, I got it. It's, mm -hmm. fine. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. There you go. There you go. go. I figured it out. I got there eventually. How do Pokemon centers remain in business? Free healthcare! Taxes! Yeah, come on. This, this <laughs> is America. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. Taxes. It would be really funny if in Gen 5, because that's the first gen that was based up of a region from New York, like they made you pay for the Pokemon Center. <laughs> that would be that's so That's way more realistic Gen 5. Dude, we should make a ROM hack of Pokemon, but it's America. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Everything would cost just a little bit more and there'd be mm -hmm, there'd be mm -hmm. no free health care. You have to pay Gen to, 5 yeah. black and white ROM hack that just makes it more like New York. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is based off of New York. Mm -hmm, that's true. Uh, I, I especially like the desert that is right to the south of New York in real life too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> I saw something, again, like, this is like a few years ago, mm -hmm. so, like, a really bad thing, like, that, I don't, you know, I won't say it, because I'm not sure if that's 100% true, mm -hmm. let me double check this, like, the desert is supposed to be somewhere that is not okay, but it's 100% not what they were going for. <laughs> I, you know what? It was a game theory. Yes, I'm pretty sure it was a <laughs> game theory thing. Thank you, Matt Pat. Matt Pat said something immediately. Like, I'm remembering what it was. Matt Pat said something that's obnoxiously stupid and ridiculous. And I don't know how he made it out of that alive. Where he was like, oh, the desert that's there is supposed to be where the towers were. And like, shut up. Oh! I don't know if that's what Matt Pat said, but I know someone said that. And it was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, Yikes. Matt, Matt, Yikes! Yikes! Yeah. I, I don't I don't know if Matt and Matt Pat was that. That's fair. That's fair. But like someone said it. Someone said it. He started it. He started yeah, the yeah, yeah, whole yeah, game yeah. theory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's responsible for every crappy game theory that ever came out after him. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Look, we are now. The Pope had a. A live, pre like a live circus troop play Megalovania in front of him. That circus troop exactly 100% <laughs> knew what the frick they were doing. You cannot no convince way they me. Didn't. There is no, no way they way had they no idea. There is no way you cannot convince me. They knew exactly what they were doing. The they wanted. That we were barely into 2022 when that happened. <laughs> That's so true. That's so true. They knew exactly what they were doing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. When I saw that on my Twitter timeline, I thought the audio was like, like, like edited yeah. on top of like it. Like, I didn't think it was real. I was yeah. so confused. You, you know what's the sad thing for me? Uh -huh. I saw it, and I didn't even think anything of it because it's <laughs> just so used to nonsense happening nowadays. <laughs> oh my god. But I didn't even stop to question the insanity of it. <laughs> 
Oh my god. The Pope. The Pope. I want to meet the Pope one day. I don't know what I would say my... to him, but I want to meet him. I'll say that story for after stream, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll say the story. Okay, I have a question, okay? Yeah. If you could meet the Pope and give him a gift, what would you give him? I have to save this story for after stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, only because... It would dox me. <laughs> okay. Fair, fair, fair. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I, I give him. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna piggyback off of Kevy's uh, suggestion. I would give him some J. Kirsten Jimmy merch. <laughs> you know what I would give the Pope? Mm. I would give the Pope like like a knife. Like a very fancy schmanch. I would give, I would give the Pope a grapefruit knife, a great, a matching grapefruit, a grapefruit knife, knife, and it's oh, a, oh, grapefruit oh, knife? a great, a matching grapefruit knife and spoon set. A very nice matching grapefruit uh, spoon and knife set from like Amazon.com. That's what I would give the Pope. Those are nice. I've never seen this. Before. You should. So like, what did? So like, how you eat a grapefruit is you cut it in half and then you spoon it out, like the slices. Mm -hmm. So like, right. the 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 spoon is like jagged on a grapefruit spoon, so you could take the slices out, and the knife is like like tiny, so you can cut between like the 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 slices of like the skin, so that way the little grapefruit stuff comes out easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. That makes sense. I like it. I don't think the Pope has one, so I'm going to. I would gift him one. I think that taking a knife to the Pope may <laughs> or may not. It's an Undertale cause an reference. It's fine. Incident. It's a, it's an, it's a, you'll get it. It's an Undertale reference. Yeah, it's an Undertale okay, reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he'll get it. He'll get it. <laughs> But that's what I would give the Pope. Because I want one. I want one myself. Yeah. If I was being, like, serious, mm -hmm. I don't know what I would give. Right? I, I, it would need to be, like, something of cultural significance. Right? 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 Like, I feel like it has to be something important. Does the Pope have a computer? How else did he get a copy of the Undertale? <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready, ready. Um, I get, I give him like, um, like, I mean, I'd have to like work with other YouTubers, right? Uh -huh. But I would want to give him like, uh, like a golden, like, one million sub, like, YouTube thing. Oh my god! But like engraved to the Pope. You want to be the one that gives it to him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I found the house. Okay. Now I gotta find the guy. Are you the guy? Oh, Question for Woman and Andrew. Are you ready for the BF2 contest? The yeah, what? the best friend competition is oh, tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm... I need to ask for an extension. <laughs> I need to turn it in late. It's tomorrow. Okay, For Andrew. Andrew, you can turn it in tomorrow, but like the stream's I am, tomorrow. I am so sorry. So Robin's going to be like dethroned. Yeah. Robin's going to be can, dethroned. You know Someone can have my throne. It's fine. That's so I'm, exciting. I'm so sorry. Jay. I it's wanted so to make exciting. something. <laughs> I wanted to make something like, but like the effort would be like, oh gosh, like I have too much stuff See, going. You know, I, if I had throwing, known I had that. my time in the sun heavy. <laughs> if I had known that, I would have gone so hard beforehand. Like, I thought that you were just gonna do another like ridiculous like Adobe After Effects. I thought you were gonna pull out Blender and make a 3D model of Jay. Oh my like, gosh. I, like, I did not have, if, if I was not working over winter break, I probably would have done it, but like, <laughs> I did not have the time. I'm so sorry. Even and I shouldn't have said that. I should say that because it was three months, right? <laughs> but it just completely slipped my my. I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's fine. It means bigger competition. That's what that mm -hmm. means. True. Yeah. That's fair. I'm very. I am excited. very curious. I will be very upset if the winner does not top my video from last year. <laughs> it at least has to do that. 
Oh god. Where is this guy? Oh, is it this guy? Please be the guy that I need to talk to. Person you have um, has a lot to say. Yeah, they're pretty. Chatty. Oh my god! Yeah. Where is mm -hmm. this guy? Is are you the guy? Oh my god! Where is they this have guy? They a lot on their mind. Where is this guy? Where is he? I feel like you would be able to sit down and have a conversation with this person for like a full day and learn Probably so much. All day, yeah. yeah. So much knowledge. Oh my god! I hate it here. inside that person. Oh, finally! You, oh my god! You were talking to the the pot. Oh my god! Him. I want to die! I want to die! I want to die! Oh my god! I hate it here! I hate it here! Let me leave! Let me leave! Oh, actually, I should save. Oh, I'm still talking to him, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, now, now I want to save. Is that guy save. smoking? Yes. He's constantly saying like, oh, How, oh. Yes, he's like, he's like, he's like inhaling. I feel like he's like inhaling the ashes or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> <that's> unhealthy. <laughs> oh god, where am I in this menu? Warlock said five minutes of Jay talking to a base. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know what gets me really mad? What? Why is it that you have to have Amazon Prime for your VODs to last more than two weeks? I don't know. I have no idea. Very dumb. It I don't is like very it. dumb. Oh, is that why I never have to like worry about my yes, VODs being deleted? Yes. <laughs> yes, I noticed it after I stopped paying for Amazon Prime. Mm. I didn't know that. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Not cool for me. Yeah, not cool for one. <laughs> I have to download all my VODs ahead of time. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah, I I don't know. I I should do, do a you, VOD channel do? just so that it's so easy. That's just just, just so like it's easier for me, mm -hmm. right? right? To like have them there instead of having to make sure like oh I remember to download them. Mm -hmm. I, I was gonna ask, do you record on like your end, or do you just download the vods when you're doing like? I just um... download the vods. Yeah. Okay. That's maybe what I should. I maybe I should record on my end. I heard that it might give you better video quality. Um, mm. Also, but I'm not sure. That's. I I heard that from like a small ant subreddit. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> But Bioshock redeemed the ball check. Ball check! Everybody check your balls. Make sure all your balls are there. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, drink some water. True. Drink water. Because uh, Bioshock redeemed it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Good call, Bioshock. Good call. What time is it? It is... 9.21. Oh, already? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, where am I? Am I still talking? Am I talking to someone? What? Am I moving? I haven't bumped into anything. Oh, now Bioshock I- Okay. Bioshock also redeemed drink water. Thank you, Bioshock. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was looking for that edge. Oh, okay. So now we're just looking for a Skarmory. I really want to... Is that a Skarmory? No. That's a no. Spinda. Okay. Uh, I really want to use a Skarmory on the team because I really like how Skarmory looks. And I've never used a Steel type on my team before. So that's why I want to I wanna use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Skarmory is really cool. I, I used it in um, when I was like a wee baby. A wee uh, baby! Yeah, <laughs> in uh, Pokemon Crystal. Ah, Skarmory is a very cool Pokemon. I like the design of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is very cool. I love it. Like, um... Oh my Devil. god, please. Right? 
<laughs> it's like made out of steel or something. Yeah. I wonder yeah. what type it could be. Could be any type at this point. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Make our way to Fall Arbor so I can position myself. Okay. Okay. Go back. Oh, while we're in Fall Arbor Town, actually, we can go into. Oh, there's a house. Okay, hold on. Let me think of. There's a house that is left to the Pokemon Center. I'm pretty sure. Um, what house is this? What is this? Okay, that's the Pokemon Center. Oh no! What? What the? What? Why do I always think I'm like here? I'm like disoriented. Mm. Okay, so there's a house. Like, around here. I think it's this house. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so confused! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I can't go that way. Go straight up. What is this? What is this? Who are Where you? Oh my god. Where are we going again? We're, we're trying to get to that. Okay, so like, okay, in the top right quadrant is the Pokemon Center. Mm -hmm. On the left to that is a house, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. But below that is the is the contest hall, and then to the right of the contest hall is the Pokemart. I think that's how the layout of this town is. Okay. Um, so we're trying to get to the house that's next to the Pokemon Center, but there's something in the way here. No, that's the Pokemon Center. Wait, wait. That doesn't make sense in my head. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to think this through. Just let us know when you need something. Okay. I'll figure it out. She's getting too good at yeah. this. Okay, I found it. I found yeah. it. I, I, I was like so involved. I didn't want to say anything. So there the, is... The house was on the other side of the contest hall. On oh, the left side. It was not okay. in between I, okay, okay. the Pokemon Center. Okay, okay. I was like, wait a minute. I don't understand. Okay, so... If this is that okay, so there's actually two houses, and I'm not sure which house I'm supposed to be in. So there's a second house that's left to this house, and I don't remember which house it is exactly. There's a guy around here, and he'll say something. Uh, are you the guy that I need to talk to? I actually don't remember. No, this is is this a guy? No, I don't think this is a guy. Okay, I'll keep. Ping ponging around the house. Someone should uh, use that mm -hmm. bonking sound and make like a drum and bass song with it. Ooh. <laughs> good, good idea, idea. good idea. I'm opening up FL Studio right now. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think do it's this FL house. Studio? Yeah, I do. Yes, I haven't used it a whole lot, but like I've been using it since I got the PC, which is mm -hmm. been a while ago now. Nice. But um, I used to use uh, Logic Pro X before, which is honestly pretty good, but... Dude, you know, I honestly, I would... I would use Logic. Like, I kind of... Logic is very, very good. Mm -hmm. Before I got into streaming, um, mm -hmm. like, I actually regretted buying a PC because I wanted to use Logic. Uh -huh. Yeah, Logic is extremely good. Mm -hmm. 
has some it has some like really nice stock um drums mm -hmm. which, the auto like, drummer is incredible mm -hmm. which like i i feel like fl's drums are like a little too like techno-y for me mm -hmm. yeah logic's auto drummer is very good Okay, reset, 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 reset. Um, that was that was back in my days when um, I feel like every nerd who um, like goes through the lo-fi hip-hop phase <laughs> is supposed to mm -hmm. try it out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Everyone does. Yep. I don't know. Literally everyone does. Yes, out. I have. Yeah. <laughs> it was mixed results. Um, yeah, I, I, I felt okay, but the problem is is like if you're making music from scratch It's like obviously way harder than just sampling something and throwing drums on it. Yeah um, And uh, beat. Yeah, yeah <laughs> um, And that's all I did. I would just go through like jazz songs and like try to find four bars that sounded good <laughs> You have a YouTube video, Kevy? Yeah, for yeah. the contest Kevy made a YouTube video for the J. Kirsten fan fiction contest that happened a while back. Oh that. no, I yeah. really missed that stream. I was um I forget what it was, but like family like family stuff really started kicking back in um around that time. Oh I really? Yeah. Oof. Um because like, I don't know. It Everyone just wanted video. to get back together again. Dude. <laughs> when was that stream? Uh, before December, I think. Wasn't it some? No, it was like S September. Was it September? Okay. Somewhere around there. It was before Halloween. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is this house? Oh my God! Is the house on the screen? <laughs> there is a house. Oh on my the God! Screen. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Because I found the guy that's at the edge of the path that has a Poochie. He gave me Roar. He gave me the TM Roar because that's all his Poochie can do. Um, and there's a house like serious? above. Yeah, yeah. He gave it to me. Did he not? I heard a little no, he... thing. Yeah, there. but can the Poochie only use Roar? Uh, oh, you don't fight him. Right? Yeah, you don't fight him. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. He's just really sad because he's like, my Poochiana only knows how to know, it only knows how to roar. So I'm that's gonna funny. give you this TM roar, and then that's it. It's like a one-trick pony. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's very specialized. Oh, there mm -hmm. we go. I found it. There we go. What the? He's a guy I... digging into his house. Mm -hmm. I totally forgot about this uh, area. Hey. Do you know that there's like this uh, group of people mm -hmm. who just like dig tunnels for fun? Yeah! <laughs> like in real life. They just dig and they're just like, yep. Yeah. And they, they're weird. like hobbyists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they'll just mm -hmm. dig like like 60 foot holes like <laughs> into like the mountains or like beneath their house or whatever. And it's, it's yeah! just what they do for fun. It's wild. <laughs> I think I saw that subreddit like accidentally of like I built I dug like this tunnel in this random place and it's like this it's like an impressive tunnel too like they're not like like you know like you know when yeah. a l like a little kid is digging in their sandbox and they're like I'm making a tunnel it's not like that kind of bullshit tunnel they're like tunnels like Barbie, now a tunnel. <laughs> yeah like exactly like this like exactly like this house <laughs> I don't remember if he gives you anything. I guess not. So I guess we can leave. All right, I'm gonna save. Oh, there you go. Okay. God. Oh, that's Pokedex. Okay. Okay, and I actually think this is a really good place to end stream. 
I yeah. think this is a good spot. We can we can grind for Skarmory next stream, and then mm -hmm. I, I we can do a contest next stream too. So I think that will be the plan. Okay, I'm gonna click off so I don't see the gim and take mm -hmm. off my blindfold slowly, slowly but surely. Good oh progress. my! Good progress. My eyes. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my you god. You don't get used to that feeling. You don't. You don't. Hey, when are you gonna stream your blindfolded Mario run? You have when, both of us when, here. When you? Uh, oh, that's yeah. not <laughs> we, It's because we like we got so busy that like we, we did. Didn't, yeah. We should do it again. We Andrew, should. Andrew, I should have talked to you about like, hey, do you want to do it when Jay's not around? Then no, we never did it. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You're right. Oh, that gosh. was like months ago. That was a long time ago. Oh, I'd be down goodness. to do it again. We can talk about it. Me yeah, too. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you were talking to her. <laughs> no, I'm down. Both of you guys. Both of you guys. Yeah, yeah. we can down. Yeah, because we haven't done that in a while. It's been a hot mm -hmm. minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, hello chat, hello. Uh, okay, thanks everyone for, for coming into stream again. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you to Ramen and Andrew for, for being my my eyes this stream. Of course, of course. It's much appreciated of, as always. Um, hold on. I gotta thank you, Kevy, for yes. Please follow them. Oh, there's a there's supposed to be a space. A, a del okay, when you click on the ramen bomber link, delete the and <laughs> at the end. I yeah. I fricked up on the thing, but it's like fine. if if do any that. link was supposed to be broken, I'm glad it's mine and not Andrew's. <laughs> Don't say that now. It's bad. Okay. I can edit the command right now. I'm gonna do that right now. There. And <laughs> Rom Romber underscore and I should make like an alt account. That's yeah, you should make yeah. an alt account for that. That'd be so funny. Be really funny. All right, I let's go find someone to raid. Hold on, where? Hold on, my eyes. Hold on, hold on. Uh oh, Jonah's not streaming. I'm gonna quickly shout out, shout out at Jonah. Jonah J. Jonah, um, earlier today did a did a Valentine's Day special stream and I didn't get to catch it. Um, it was called uh, Love or Pog or Pog lo Love. Love <laughs> it is like Love is Poggers or something like that. <laughs> and it was a dating show, so like I'm gonna catch up it on that really vod. Funny. It, it sounds hilarious. So, mm. oh, Austin's streaming. Yeah, I was about to say Austin's live. Oh shoot, we should go say hi to Austin. Let's go say hi to Austin. Austin's doing something with a MacBook. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what 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 he's doing exactly. We'll go say hi to Austin. All right. Yeah. Thanks again, friends, for coming in. Um, tomorrow is the best friend stream. You have until tonight to put in your applications. Written and video applications are acceptable. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's happening tomorrow. And then homework's due tonight. Exactly, Kevy. Mm -hmm. Homework is due tonight. <laughs> so do your homework, friends. Uh, again, thank you to to Andrew and Whammon for for coming here today. Here are their links again. They also stream on go. Twitch. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, they do. They're doing fun things over there. So please, 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 if you like the commentary, I'm sure you'll like them as streamers. So drop a follow and 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 follow them there, and it'll make me happy. Uh, uh, Ramen is also famous on Twitter. Oh my it's gosh, true. Please. It's true. It's true. Follow follow Ramen on Twitter too to get him into the into the algorithm. So yeah, yeah. There you go, Kevin. Twitter upper Twitter echelon. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys for stopping in. And and yeah, I hope to see you tomorrow and stuff. Have a lovely Valentine's if I don't see you this weekend. And and yeah, we are the J Cult here. Copy the raid message if you want to. And I'll catch you all later. Okay, okay, bye friends. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Okay, I'm just gonna press raid now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> raid now. Yay.